Hello, good morning. G'day, 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 g'day. Corbs here with another Red Dead RP stream. Oh, that glow. Eerie. Uh, we're back as Albert Groves. Uh, I started later than I would have liked to, but I had work this morning, and then I need to sort it out. I need to sort out breakfast, and uh, I got some washing out on the line, so now I'm good. So now I'm good. I think. I think. I don't think I've got anything else on today or tomorrow. So, let's get to it. G'day Reaper, how you doing? How's it going? Uh... Where am I? Where... Where am I? I'm not entirely sure... Where this is. Gotta eat some more of these apples. Is this Valentine? I don't even remember where I logged out last time. I figured I was back in St. Denis. PC's running well, nice. I bet it's, considering how tired I am, it's probably running better than me right now. <laughs> G'day Snaps, how you going? Top of the morning to you. No, Snaps, this is, uh, this is Wild RP. This is, uh, I've tr been trying another server. Oh, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh. Top of the morning to you. Yep. How goes it, sir? It's going pretty good. Pretty good? Much on, <laughs> yeah. much on the agenda today? No, I've had a pretty busy day. Oh, working hard, I imagine? Yeah. Yeah, I've been working pretty hard. I learned, I learned, I did my first backflip. Your first backflip? Yeah. I did. What? What? And fun. Was, was this backflip for work or was it just for recreation? Recreation. Have you... Have you done a second backflip since then? Yeah, I've done a little. But could you could you do one for? I don't think I've ever seen someone do a, a backflip. Could you do yeah, one for me? me? I'll do backflip. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, what's? <laughs> Are you all right down there? Yeah. Bloody hell! Look. Yeah. Is it? So I see you've mastered doing it off the off a platform. Can you do it on solid, like on level ground? Oh no, no, that's dangerous. Well, yes, I imagine. I imagine so. I've left mainly to the professionals in the circus and and, <clears throat> and whatnot. Yeah, but that's I a did, great I start. I did one from on top of. Yeah, I did one from on top of the bathhouse, but I, I need to figure out the. Land. Figure out what, sorry? Because I keep hurting myself. I, I need to figure out the landing. What? Well, have you considered maybe, like we can see here, they've got a number of uh, animal hides. Have you considered maybe getting yeah. many more to sort of create a cushion for you to land on so you can practice backflipping safely? That's a pretty good idea. Good day. Evening. Are you, are you a master at backflips? Oh, I'm certainly not, but uh, the fellow, the gentleman in the beanie here certainly is. Oh, well, yeah, I thought you was giving him tips because you, you was, you know, more skilled than him or something. Oh, no, no, I've never, I've never attempted a backflip in my life. I was just saying that. Oh, goodness. Uh oh, this don't look too good. I can do, I can do fun no. flips. Main thing is he's aiming for the mud, which will soften the blow. Fun flip. Careful there. You fool. <laughs> I, that one didn't go through. Goodness gracious. You know, jump into the pond for the first time. Into the pond? Yeah, why would you, uh, why would you want to jump into the pond? Now, Andy. Well, because you're five years old and, you know, you just want to see what'll happen. 
Wait, who's five years? Goodness! Gotta go a bit further there, old chap. Yeah. No, yeah. no, not on top of it. Oh. You're going to hurt not only yourself, but him as well. Oh, you okay. It kicked me right in the head. I'm what sorry. I didn't realize you were still yeah. good. Really need yeah. to be going just one at a time. Come on now. There's plenty of backflipping for everyone. I must say, I adore sure. your hat. It's, it's very, 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 very fashionable. Like mom is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, his hat. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, your no, hat. Your, your hat. Sir. Oh, my hat. Oh, thank you, madam. Yes, yes. I brought it with me from London. Are you I London? London. Thank you very much. But uh, I'm afraid I will not be partaking any of the backflipping. That's okay. Hey, you don't want to get that nice suit. No, no, I, I may have a uh, better one, but he, he's too embarrassed. Well, I don't want to get a dirty. I might have a job interview today. Well, looking for you, and there's a bathhouse right here. You know, if you get money, you can just rinse off. And y'all could go get naked. That's true. Could get naked. Yeah, go ahead. Just take your clothes off and do it. I don't think the transit authority would appreciate that. Who's going to know? Well, the person interviewing will, will know. They'll see me sitting there stark naked across the desk from them. Well, no, you get well, dressed before you go. Yeah, oh, oh, oh I say, naked the for the backflipping. All, all the way over there. So they, yeah, oh, yeah, I would, I would, uh, yeah. Well, she's over there, and then I would clean your clothes up nice and, and as, uh, <laughs> when you're in an interview, and like, uh, <laughs> Well, it's certainly a good idea, but I, I, I might pass on the backflipping on this occasion. But I'm happy to watch. Happy to watch everyone learn a thing or two and, and, and advance their craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right, when, let me give you a master class. When you all grab your train, you don't make them back. Oh. They're doing it already. What? And we're going to test you on it. Pardon? <laughs> Oh, 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 madam. Good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. That's what we call a high diver. This, this is what I get for logging off in Valentine. <laughs> no, no. Careful there, miss. He's still flipping. That was a good one, I did. Dave? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go this way. The, maybe you need to have a little bit of a break between jumps. I'm a, well, what's your... Are you feeling all right there? Oh. My, yeah, oh, Eddie, I'm doing great. Oh. Yeah, I got the down. It's just a landing. Well, no, sometimes it's so your worst day. Is it doing it again? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be right. I'll be right. What? What do you do around here, miss? Oh, I will, I watch you at the back house. I'm a master yeah, bather. Yeah. <laughs> a master bather? Yes, sir. Oh, I imagine there would be quite a lot of uh, practice going into that. I was recently um, invited to maybe become a uh, an entry level master bather at the uh, Rhodes oh. bathhouse, but I politely declined. Oh. That's a shame. I'm sure so you'd be great, must you be, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is involved in being a master bather? Is, is there any tricks of the trade you'd be willing to share? These are strong. Oh, sure, sure. Um, well, here at the bathhouse, we offer uh, blood jobs and toe jobs. So, um, Excuse me? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, blood jobs and toe jobs, because we blow the bathhouse for you personally. It, this is just a, this is just bathing, right? Yes, sir. We put little bubbles for you. We wash your hair. We scrub you. We give you a massage. Uh, we we groom and we, we do your toenails for you. The whole shebang. Yeah. Right. It's just I. I thought you were. I was a little confused there for a minute. 
you know, they, they don't have all the, the, the two of the tracks, so that, that probably will make sense. And, and how much do people pay per bathe? Oh, oh, oh it, it depends. depends on what kind of bath menu? you want to get. What the fuck? There's a bathing menu. Oh, yes, yeah. just come see and see. Oh, God, do I want to see this? Do oh. I want to see this? Is there much on the front desk? So it was just here, is it? Where we all want to put yeah. some money? And what was your name? How much you got on you? So was was that mine? Yeah. Uh, I know everybody else. Is. Groves, Albert Groves, at your service. Albert Groves. My name is Andy. Nice to meet you, Mr. Andy. Hello. And what was your name, Miss? It's a pleasure. Lily, what? Sorry. Landward. Miss Wood? Yes, sir. I'm a published author. You might have read one of my books. Tell me a big job. <laughs> oh, you're a writer as well. So, you know. Yes, sir. Baths at night, writing during the day. That's it. <laughs> Alright, let me peruse this menu real quick. Just have a quick gander. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, this is difficult. It's hard to keep a straight face. The, lo the lonesome luxury. Enjoy a quiet bath yourself with warm water and fresh soap. The brunch bar. Have a quiet bath yourself along with a freshly cooked meal. The super deluxe. Have one of our master bathers. <laughs> Give you a good scrub. Be pampered and enjoy some entertainment. Or the fuck it all. Why not? What do you have to lose? Your life already sucks. Warning. Side effects may include rocks. <laughs> what? Well, it's good that you've got some options for the simple man that might only have a couple of coins in his pocket. Absolutely. Oh, he must have flipped over the menu. Here's oh, that. yes, we do have a, a, another side to the menu if you look at the back. Oh, there's more? Right. Give me, give me a moment. Yes. <laughs> Oh, the scented perfume. There's, the perfumes are here. Tired of smelling like dirt and schmud? Buy a bottle of our perfume that comes in a variety of scents. Lebanese with aromatic and flowery floral scents. Of course, that price is probably scents. too much for you to handle. Pepe Martinez. I, I, I can understand. <laughs> but, uh, I'll be outside <laughs> your price range there, mister. For the ultimate and exclusive bathing event, enjoy a bath in our private stand. Well, we sell those like at least twice a day in this... This man's looking for something, and, well... Two hundred dollars?! Yes, sir. Bloody hell. Yeah, I don't, I don't even have a full-time job yet to even consider such a... Ex, uh, such an exquisite service. Well, 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 perhaps if you're a successful over here, you into your, you can come, come back one day. Well, we could do a payment plan, <laughs> maybe. Uh, how much can you? You got a hundred now, and we can come get the hundred later. What? Well, we, we don't have to do that. Well, look, I've got. I do have some money. I've, you know, saved up from doing the odd job around the, the ranches. But, but really, I, I'm not really in need of a bath right now. Um. I feel, I feel quite squeaky clean, ready. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully going you to be going for a job a interview today. But I'm, you do look very clean, I must say. But like, let's let's say I get a bit sweaty during the job interview at the Transit Authority. I'll, th this would be the first establishment that comes to mind to freshen up. Why do you uh. want to work there? Oh, ever since I was a small boy back in England, I've always been fascinated by the. The steam locomotives. Oh, it's fantastic. I, I do hope mm. you're successful. I hope so too. I yeah, recently uh, made contact, so to speak, and um, yes, hopefully I'll have a job interview. And that, if that's successful, then I believe I start a rigorous training program. You're know, riding along, and so to speak. Oh, my. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. How would you handle bugs flying into your face? 
at a high rate of speed. Oh, I suppose if I had a, if I had a another hand free, I might put it up. You know, sort of get get out of the way, bugs. So you swat them. You know, get away. Stop that. Or I might, uh, you know, put tip the uh, the old hat down a bit. How would you be able to see in front of you while swatting or hat down in front of your face? Well, I would suppose uh, I would only do it uh, here and there. You know, I would take a quick, a quick glance, you know, lean around the corner, take a look at the the mm -hmm, next stretch of mm -hmm. track and sort of count in my head, you know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, so on and so forth, and sort of just mm -hmm, bug mm -hmm. breaks. Uh, how would you handle a constant flow of coal smoke into your face? Oh, I suppose I'd just turn my head. <laughs> just, just turn it. Just, just look away. Look away. Out of sight, out of mind. No, I suppose there might still be some fumes. Or is there? I mean, what would you? Is there any solutions you'd recommend to deal with some of these? things well i mean there is no solution the, your only solution is when your shift is over to jump into a pond or a yeah. bath and burn your clothes because they'll be covered with soot and smoke. burn them can't i can't i give them a bit of a rinse you oh. can for the first few times but you're going to turn you know that pretty white you have on is going to be nice and gray after about what do you say lily two weeks Oh gosh, yeah, it, it really stains the white clothes. It really does. Oh uh, well, well, I'd probably they'd probably supply me with a uniform, right? I think they do. I'm pretty sure they do. So every yeah. night you come home, you're gonna have to jump into a um, you know, a bath outside the house because <laughs> the missus is not gonna like that. I suppose. Yeah, you're right. Like working in these conditions, I'm going to get mighty filthy and. Like, I don't know if I'd be able to trust myself to get the job done. So, uh, it would it, it, you wouldn't happen to have a subscription service or something, would you? Oh, actually, a long, long time ago, we used to have a subscription service. We did, yes. Um, I think it was something like $50 per month, and you get, uh, you know, the... the Lots of extra you for free every every time you want it. because uh, I think I think I'm starting to pick up what you're putting down. Is that like yes, after multiple shifts, I'm gonna be just filthy. And Yeah. I'm going to Unless need to... you live next to a river. No oh, well, oh, at the moment I'm just um lodging at the uh the hotel in Saint Denis. Um no permanent oh, lodging yet. Oh, I'm just oh travelling around. So even when you get off shift, you're going to have to walk through that smud and uh, this, that, that, uh, what they call that, the smog. Uh, you're going to have, you're going to have, oh, <laughs> you're going to, oh. Yeah, I think um, I might need to make time at the end of every day. You know, I clock off from the trains and whatnot, and then I might have to pop on by here to get a master bath. Absolutely. Uh, how about this? I, I, I will have a talk with Mama. She's the, uh, the proprietor of this establishment. And I want to know if you we can do a subscription for you. Oh, if not, it's no trouble. I'm having a, I would be happy to pay, you know, instance by instance. I'm just... He's, he's, he's make a very good point that if I'm going to be working ongoing on the trains, it's going to be a lot of coal, a lot of bugs, and sweat and... God knows what else, and it's just, I, you know, I want to be presentable every time I turn up to work. I want to be looking as my best self. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's so kind of like you, you want to consider us as, as your, um, your regular backers. You will certainly be happy to have you as a regular customer. Well, I've been very impressed by the, uh, the, the menu and your, you know, yourself and the other chap there. You know, explaining things quite well, asking questions, actually, you know, actually taking the time of day to find out what 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 is it I need out of a service like this? You've you've gone above and beyond 
uh, in the, the realm of customer service, if I may say so. So I'm definitely impressed. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Think, well, what we can do as well is potentially, if you do need a close, close washing service, we can certainly do that for you as well. Well, yes, but yes, may as well. You have two birds with one stone. You know, while I'm taking a dip in the tub, you may as well get the clothes dipped in another tub and, uh, and get it, and then I guess throw out all the water in one go. Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, look, I'll make a, I'll make a mental note of this. Uh, what, what do you call this establishment exactly again? Oh, it's a Saints Hotel and Bathhouse. Saints Hotel and Bathhouse <coughs> here in Valentine. And it was uh, yes, Miss uh, Miss Wood? Uh, Lynn, Lynn, Lynn Wood. Lynn Wood. Yes, sir. And, and what was the, the other chap's name? Uh, this is uh, Ricky Shay. Ricky what, sorry? Uh, uh, Shay, Mr. Shay. Ricky Shay. Yes, sir. Right, okay. Ricky Shay and Lynn Wood. All right, I will... Do I will endeavour to, to remember that, but I appreciate you know, your hospitality you. today. Thank you so much. It's been wonderful to meet you. I look forward to seeing you again. Yes, hopefully you'll be seeing me behind one of the uh, the steam locomotives. Oh yes. Yeah. As I pull up into town to come get a to, to have a master bath. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to, to wish you the bye, bye, best of luck with your, with your interview. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I better, I better get out of your hair. I'm going to go, uh, I better send off a telegram and see if I can schedule this uh, interview. But uh, I bid you all farewell. Until next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Mike, <laughs> I love her voice. And I feel like, what are you gonna do? There's all these bugs in that. Oh my god, that that's what I get for waking up on Valentine. But there we go. Alright. Sorry, let me catch up. Uh, why do I look like a banker? Uh Reaper, I this guy, his character, he's from London, England. And he's a, he's from a, he's a stand-up gentleman, so you've got to dress dr uh, dress as a gentleman. Um, yeah, because he's from England. Um so he's a, a silly British man. Um, snaps. Very sad to hear that you joined the day after I left. That is very unfortunate timing. Uh, but as I've, as I've said, I considered myself on a break from Diablo RP. There, I may very well return sometime. I don't know. I just, I, I really, like I've said multiple times, is just, I've really just wanted to try <coughs> another server um, just to see if the the vibes and such just fit me better um just because it's also what i what i'm really finding is that because it's sort of like you know most of the players on this server are overseas from australia so they're on during the day on the weekend which forces me to almost be like well i'm going to prioritize doing it during the day on saturday and sunday which is only two days a week rather than doing it i don't think with my work and everything else going on in my life i don't think i can I, like a big part of it i don't think i can keep up with everyone else on diablo rp like you know every night because then i just don't get I, I just don't get stuff done and i have trouble sleeping and and all that so this is all this is good because it gives me something to do during the day um and it keeps me in check because uh i'm not very good at looking after myself um so but yeah, I've had, I've, I'm having fun, especially like there's a lot of people like that. Like some really top-notch RP, which is great. Uh, love to see it. Also, hello, Shelby. How are we going? <laughs> yes, uh, Albert, Albert Groves is very, very guilty. He is definitely the best. He is the greatest uh, wagon pilot ever. Ah, howdy, Rando. Hello, thank you for your interest in the Saints Crossing Transit Authority. I am Senior Transit Officer Flood, and I will be in charge of handling your interview process. Our first step will be an interview. This interview will be to learn more about you and your qualifications or any past experience. We will review information concerning the Transit Authority. 
and give a basic orientation if questions are answered to my satisfaction. If you have not, I would encourage you to seek out a deputy and get your citizen registry profile filled out. This is a requirement for enrollment in the SCTA. Furthermore, please indicate a range of times and dates that would work best for your interview, and I will respond promptly to schedule this interview. If our times do not match, or I am otherwise unable to attend, I will do my absolute best to match with you match you with a more available senior officer to handle this interview. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Yeah, I received I got a copy of this on Discord, which is helpful. So uh, I need to Um I need to do that. I need to follow the instructions. I need to follow the instructions and uh, get this get this underway so that we can get a job driving trains. Oh, I'm still I'm still like giggling from that characters. Ones aren't even down here neither. That was very funny. Where is the message? Um. <gasps> Hello, Bella. Whoa, hey. Hello, Bella. How are you? Howdy, partner. How we doing this morning? Bella, love your new hair. Oh, and Shelby as well. Yes, queens. Love the hair. It makes, like, I'm like, because I haven't, sometimes I, like, it's been years since I've dyed my hair black. But then usually over the last few years, it's like I would dye it brown to keep it all the same shade. And I have not done that this year. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of gray hairs coming out. It's, uh, definitely look at my age or I look older than I am. I'm like, oh no. Damn you, time! Ah, this, the tick tock of the clock! Oh my god. <laughs> Slay! <laughs> I'm well. <laughs> I'm well, Bella. I, even though I'm very tired, I worked this morning from 6 until 9 because there's a show on. So I had to, I had to uh, hold the fort at the station uh, in one of the studios for a couple of hours. And then I got some washing and that done. So now I'm ready to do this. Now I'm ready to just play this for a handful of hours. How are you going? It's great to see that you're regularly streaming again. Howdy, Mrs. Phenom. Good day, good day. How you going? Oh no, there's ads! Oh wait, shoot. I will wait. <laughs> Tie the same as Shelby Banks. I don't know if I have the time, the con, not the, the, I don't know if I have the patience to do that. <laughs> That's too much for me. That's too much. I'm just a one shade kind of guy. Um, okay. Uh, when you get the chance, please send a telegram to the transit tip line. Albert Graves transit uh, or uh, interview. Good day. Uh, oh, no. To whom it may concern. Con concern. I forgore. Are the ads done yet? Oh, they're back. Um, sorry, Bella. I didn't see the ads thing because it's like a different color and stuff now in OBS. So it doesn't um, it doesn't stand out to me, and I miss it. Um, uh, what was I saying? I'm well. Um, I'm very tired. I worked this morning from six until nine. Uh. Because we've got a show on in town, so I had to jump in the studio and go on air for the first time in a while. So I was doing that. I had to do some interviews over the phone, which was cool. Um, and then I got some washing done. Um, but I was like, "Do I?" I was like, "Do I stream Red Dead RP or do I nap?" And I was like, "Come on, it's only like the best times to do Wild RP every week for Australians, as far as I'm concerned, is is Saturday and Sunday during the day." So I was like, "Fuck it." <clears throat> so I got some breakfast, had some caffeine, got some sugar in me, so I'm, I've got some energy, but I'm a little bit tired. But I'm good. How are you going, Bella? It's wonderful to see you streaming regularly again. <laughs> Your chaotic energy has been messed. Um. I, yeah, you're right. It would be easy on short hair. It just, it would lack the... 
it would just be I feel it would be, would be lacking. Five hours long. Yeah, I I I, get, I lose my pay like whenever I would dye my hair black or brown, I would like I'd be like annoyed at how long that would take. Even though it's just I'm just using the the stuff from like Woolies. Oh, this is taking too long. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm fed up. <laughs> But it would be because it would be quite the process because I would do uh, my eyebrows as well and I'd have to be very careful because then I would feel my eyes stinging and then I'd do my beard as well, which would almost feel like a burning sensation. I'm like, am I doing this right? I think I'm doing it wrong. So it's like a painful experience. <laughs> But yes, your hair, both your hair looks amazing. Absolutely fabulous. Oh my God. Yes. It looks great. Um, and I hope you, I, I, um, I didn't, I was lurking when you were doing, um, copycat, uh, Bella. Um, I watched a bit of Teague's, I, I, I was watching a bit of Teague's stream the other day. And I, I didn't realize she was at the end. So I've seen the end of the game. Um, but it was cool to see that you're playing it too. Very, um, the little bit I saw um, made me feel sad. Made me feel sad. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Uh, so, okay. Uh, when you get the chance, please send a, tele a telegram to the transit tip line with your availability for an interview. To whom it may concern. Oh, I gotta use time conversion and stuff. Oh. Time converter. Uh, so we're wanting to go from New South Wales time, if I can, if I can type, Sydney, Sydney, to Eastern Standard, which is like New York, right? Um, wait, is it that? E E S T, Eastern. I'm assuming it's that one, the one that's 14 hours behind. Um, to whom it may concern. I am available for an interview today from now until... Uh, how late am I willing to go? How late am I willing to go? Um... Until 2 a.m. EST. I am also available tomorrow. Between, uh, what time would I be willing to start tomorrow? 9 a.m. probably. No, not 8. I'm using my little time converter site. 9 a.m., which is, um, uh, I'm also available tomorrow between... 7 p 7 p.m. and God, I hope I've done that right. God, I hope I've done that right. Howdy, Hammer. How you going, mate? You finished it? It was so sad. Made me sad plus mad. <laughs> I don't blame you. From what I saw, I was like, ah. Oh. Very cute. I saw you like knocking over stuff off the in the kitchen and stuff. I'm like, what are you doing? How could you? I have to do some adulting, but wanted to say hi. Gonna look. Thank you, Bella. Wonderful to see you. And um, I'm very sad that you're not going to <laughs> you're not going to Pax or South by because <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't have time to catch you when I was up in Queensland over the holidays last year. So. You better, you better, and I don't think I'll be up in Queensland anytime this year. So you better come to all the things next year, like PAX, South By, and if I can go to DreamHack, you better be there. God damn it. Oh, how dare you, Bella? How selfish. How selfish. How could you do this to me? <laughs> it's all right, though. Life gets in the way um okay so we send the availability you can also clock in on the
Uh, okay, so I can also connect to the on duty channel in the Discord so that they can see that I'm around. Right. So they can see me. Yep. And then I. Yep. Oh, yep, so they might reach out to me. All right. Looking forward to hearing from you. Kind regards, Albert Groves. What's my thing again? What's my ID again? My God. V... VM808. God, I hope I've done that right. Because then you know, I asked them, yeah, what's the transit tip line? And they're like, it's literally, tra it's transit. <laughs> it's literally just transit, brother. <laughs> it's transit. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm, so if any of the trainers are around, they'll see me. Good day. They'll see me and they might reach out to me in character without having to schedule, which would be nice. Cause I'd love to, I'd love to get the interview done and, and get, and, and start learning how to do the transit authority work. That would be awesome. Cause that's, that's the bread and butter of this character. That's the, that's his whole, that's his purpose. It's his dream. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, because I need to send you something later. I found on a random notice board in country. I was like, there is no way this is random. What? What is this? <laughs> Menu, oatmeal, pork and beans, stew, and what's the third one? Is that squirrel? Squirrel something? What does that, what does it say? Beans! <laughs> Stew! <laughs> don't go up that mountain. Don't go any don't go near any mountains, Hammer. This is a bad omen. <laughs> mm, I love eating 20,000 apples a day. Yum yum yum. Delicious. Alright. Um so there's a very good chance, because it's only eleven fourteen here. There's a very good chance that some of the um, overseas transit authority senior members will be around over the next few hours. Could very well get this interview happening. So I I feel like I don't really want to stray too far. <clears throat> oh, but then that one was sent from. That was actually sent from one of them, wasn't it? Maybe I need to. Will they have? They, well, they'd have access to the transit tip line though, right? Maybe I, need, maybe I should send one to them as well. Just just so we Senior Transit Officer Flight, I'll be in charge of handling the interview process. And I've done that. Um, oh, what was his name? Sawyer Blake? He did that the first time we, we got to Valentine. So I believe I've got a citizen registry profile filled out. Um, oh, should have copied and pasted the other telegram. Is there any, I don't think there's any prep I need to do. I don't think, like, is there any like, Homework I need to be doing? I can't remember. I, th I think I think it's just just a general chit chat. Um, 
Uh, okay, let's write this down. So this is... What's their name again? Something Flood. I think I, I swear I've heard their first name. I've heard about Flood. Where's their... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I only know, I only know their last name, Flood. Which is uh, SC651. Oh. Is there like a sent telegrams section? <laughs> Oh, wait. Ah. Yeah, because currently, because it's Saturday for me, but to, it's currently Friday for them. That's New York, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I was meant to write in brackets Saturday. Yeah, t tomorrow will be their Saturday, because tomorrow's my Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we have sent one to Senior Officer Flood and the Transit Tip Line. Good day. Hello there, mister. Oh dear. We've sent one to the transit tip line and also Good day! Oi, you uh, had the trains? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I, well, nothing. I haven't heard anything new, but I have sent off some telegrams in reply to try and uh, organize an interview, so. Oh, yeah. Huzzah! Yeah, yeah, no, don't let the man keep you down. No, no, not at all. <laughs> You're not ready to do it, keep it down. <laughs> There's some really funny people in Valentine tonight. Today? Blah. Very funny voices. Love the... Love the voices and the, the commitment. It's very funny. Be yeah, nice to nice to see everybody in chat. Thanks for saying hello. Hope hope everyone's having a magical weekend. I'm keen to do this for a, a bunch of hours, and then and then maybe tonight play some more Dead Rising uh, Deluxe Remaster. <laughs> maybe some more Space Marine Two, if the if the connections are gonna behave. Um. Uh, I even played some Helldivers 2 for the first time in ages with Late Night Liam and Gromit the other day. And that was actually really fun. I was like, this is nice to be playing Helldivers again. So maybe some more of that. Um, I recently bought... Well, I bought the DLC for Company of Heroes because I realized I've never actually finished Company of Heroes. But I need to finish the base campaign first. But yeah, I saw there was a special on. Uh, and then I'd really like to try... I recently got I Am, I Am Your Beast on... Um, on Steam, which looks really cool. 
Might check if my citizen registry is definitely good. Oh yeah, you've been sick, Hammer. That's right. Bruh. One of the ladies at work has been really sick lately. Good day! Uh, I, I don't know. Where's Titus? One second, sir. Not a problem. You just run to the... I have no idea where he went. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you need something? Oh, no, not not in a rush. Uh, I'm quite new to uh, this fine country of yours. Me. And uh, I believe I okay. had a uh, the start of a citizen registry uh, being commenced the other week by uh, Deputy uh, Sawyer Blake. I was just... I'm currently uh, lined up to be interviewed by the Transit Authority. So I was just wanting to check if my... Uh, uh, Registry had, is is all fine and dandy. Oh, uh, sure. Definitely check it really quickly. Why not? Um, what's your name? Albert Groves, at your service. All these new deputies don't know who I am. What? Okay, let's see. Albert Groves. Uh, we could actually use a few more things. Um, do you know your telegram number? Oh, I do now, uh, yes. Oh, it is VM... Eight zero eight. I know, I know. Come on. I will pay you a thousand dollars. VM eight zero eight. Don't yeah. listen to him, Lindsay. He's oh, he's I, really convincing. No. I will pay. I will pay you a thousand dollars to get my friends to get us out of here. Okay. Inside. Thousand dollars. What on earth? Go in his Go inside. Are they That's all right? Just Lucas, don't oh worry God. about him. He's. Uh, they oh they God. will be. They'll be just fine. Really? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh. Very macho 808, is that right? Yes. Okay. Do you have any uh, nicknames or aliases that you go by? No. No, well, not yet. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fair. Um, do you have anybody in the crossing that you'd like to add as a, a next to kin? Uh, probably too early for that as well. Yeah. Not okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, do you have any scars or, or special features so that we can easily identify you? Oh, just this glorious mustache, you can say. Is the mustache important to you? You never get rid of it kind of thing. I, it would take a lot for me to shave off this mustache. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, do you know if you are allergic to anything? Um, oh, not that I know of. I'm definitely not allergic to beans on toast or or a, a good palmo. On the upper leg. All in the fleshy part of my hip. Thigh. My upper thigh, near my ass. What? It's in my thigh area. It's in the fleshy part underneath my ass. What? What are they talking about in there? Yeah, it fucking hurts. It burns. It sounds like he's in a bit of trouble in there. Something's burning below his ass. Sorry about that. I got some stuff stuck in my ears there. Uh, all right. Did you hear my last question? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. Uh, are, do you know if you are allergic to anything? Oh, no, no. Uh, not yet, anyway. Okay, alrighty. Uh, if that is the case, I do believe that you are all set, Albert Groves. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, because I'm expecting a, an interview with the Trans Authority any hour now, or tomorrow, so I want to make sure I'm putting my right foot forward. Oh, lovely. Yeah, no, that sounds really good. Uh, I know the Transit Authority could definitely use uh, some more hands, and I would it'd certainly put a smile on my face to see more you know, trams and trains and, and the like going around. Oh, well, that would be a joy for me as well. I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, and you're one of the local law enforcement, I gather? You know what? Maybe. Uh, yes, yes, I am. Uh, detective, the Lonzo Seekler. It's good to meet you. A detective? Goodness! Every time we get caught, it's you. 
Imagine that would keep you, uh... You caught me the, the, the last three times you've been caught. Besides the time I oh, caught you yes. or it was you. You got us. But... You got us. You got uh, us at the Saint Denis time. And then you got us at Tall Tree. Pleasure to meet you, sir. And then here. Hey, you as well. As well. Uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing a fair bit of, a bit of each other if you're going to be uh, doing transit. I spend quite a lot of time at the medical department, and I know transit is works pretty damn close. So, you oh, right. like hopefully you'll be seeing me come around. through on a train yeah. sometime soon. I know it does. Doesn't hopefully, it? hopefully. All right. Well, uh, you take it easy, Albert, <laughs> and uh, so you know, good luck on your interview. Okay. I'm sure Thank you very much. Work. Good. Hope, hope your day gets easier with those uh, people in there. It sounds quite intense. Uh, the tip's already been sent out. Somebody just needs to check the tip line to see if anybody... Yeah, honestly, I kind of doubt it, but, uh, you know, Please, thank you. fingers crossed and all that. Oh, well, best of luck, sir. Yeah, appreciate you coming by, though. Why not? Splendid. All right. <laughs> Citizen registry is looking good. Um... Uh... Are they still doing backflips down there? Put that down on a piece of paper and shove it up your ass. Leave it out of the suggestion box. Oh my god. I respect how you uh, operate your business. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm going to look at all that. Hey, Dad. Let me know. Are they still doing backflips? Alright, well, we might... I don't know. Like, I don't know how quick they're going to get back to me. And I don't think Telegram alerts come up, so I suppose. So I just want to go. Keep an eye on the Telegram station, I guess. Ba bomb, 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 bomb. Got to get through all these tobacco. All this tobacco. Ba bom 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 ba bom 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 Do 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 Jolly good, yes, quite indeed. Indubitably. I love the walk when he's on the pipe the stiff arm. We are going for a walk. This is how humans walk down the street. How do you do, fellow humans? I suppose if we don't hear anything soon, then I could go do some... Uh, some farm chores over, over that bloody Emerald Ranch. Just to just to see what's going on there. Might run into some of those nice people uh, met there the other week. That might be nice. You know, a little bit of extra money coming in. I should probably deposit some money too. That's right, because in this one the um, the banks are shared, so I don't have to wait until I'm back in Saint Denis to do that. Um. And I got a horse. I got a basic horse. I got a bunch of apples. Um, it's really, yeah, I just really want to get this interview done because, yeah, that will be the focus of the character. Ba bum bum bum. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh. Oh. Can I like reply directly? How long ago was that? A few minutes ago. SC651.
Rolling interview. That sounds delightful. Good evening. So there's a wagon service currently on route. Coming from where though? Don't know how long it's going to be. I'm assuming like St. Neil Roads? Or maybe Blackwater? Hopefully I didn't miss him. Oh wait, here we go. Now they posted in the Discord. Uh, St. Denis to Tumbleweed of a, of a, a loop. Okay, so I'm assuming if they're doing a loop and Valentine's is on the way to Tumbleweed, I'm hoping that they stop by Ansberg first and then they come through Emerald Ranch and then Valentine. So hopefully we haven't missed uh, Senior Officer... Oh, I lost my pipe. We'll look in the map. Hopefully we haven't missed Senior Officer Flood and the wagon. Then we can do this interview. Yeah, boy. Get it done. Really keen to see how the trains work. But I'm very excited because, yeah, a lot of people have said that they'd love to see more people doing transit authority, especially with trains and stuff, because then that allows, there's more opportunity for people to ride around, RP to happen on the train, like robberies and such. And I am happy to supply that for a time. That would be, that would be splendid. Bum bum bum. Oh, that's right. I was going to say as well. The um, it was cool that the the detective's voice is cool, but it re really reminded me of um the gruff voice from Morrowind. Like when you wake up on the boat, you know the hey, you're finally awake. You're tossing and turning in your sleep, like the like the dark elves are like hey. It sounded like that. Watch out for those cliff races. Cliff riders, whatever those stupid birds are. Ba bom bom bom. Do 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 do. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Ba bom bom bom. Ba bom ba bom ba 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 ba. I really don't know how long this wagon's going to be. Hey. Ba 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 ba. Mmm, pipe. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Why doesn't this make me feel good? How do you do? Good day. Oh, he has gotten a little bit dirty walking around Valentine. A, a bath would not hurt right now, but you watch the moment we'd go to take a bath. 
It's when the wagon would arrive. Hmm. Yeah. I'd rather be I'd rather be slightly dirty for an interview rather than be late for an interview, I think. She was, I think she might be the... Was she the lady I spoke to in the mine last time? Kind of looks familiar. But then a lot of the characters look similar. Pardon me, boy. Do, 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 do. Wagon, wagon, wagon. Where is the wagon? I would gather that if they have not replied, they're on the road. Is there anything on this? Ba 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 ba. Oh. Oh. I think this might be it. This might be what we're waiting for. Good evening! I want to give you something. Listen, it's not much, but it, you'll remember me for it. Okay. Okay? Take those for the ride, if that's yeah. fine. Use those for a snack. Oh, you're so good. Hey, you know, if you ever like. <laughs> Here's someone that could be my dad. You just let me know. You know, if you see me around, if you sure. travel a lot. Okay? Alright. Alright. Or if someone's looking for a son, you know, that could match up perfectly. Alright, I'll let you know. God, you're so nice. Thank you. I'll see you Take around. Care. You see Hi. Good evening. Are you my dad? Patty. Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Oh. What's your name? Uh, Groves. Albert Groves. Oh, yeah, that's not my dad's name. What's your father's what you name? Mr. Uh, you know, I, I don't like telling people. I, I, don't, I don't tell people that information. No, that's fair enough. Well, as long as we yeah. can tick off that, it's not me. Yeah, no, you're, no, no, yeah, I don't think so. Wait, where, where was I, where was I born? Uh, I would not have a clue, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's not my dad. What do you do for a living? Oh, well, I recently moved here from London, England, and I usually just, you know, move things from point A to B with wagons. Hopefully, hoping to oh. do the same thing here. Yeah, you're like this guy. Yes, uh, Mr. Flood, I presume? That is correct, sir. Oh! God, you guys have so much to catch up on. I'll leave you be. Perfect. Take care. Nice to meet you, Mr. Flood. My name is Groves, Albert Groves, at your service. Good to meet you, Mr. Groves. Uh, I'm assuming you're the one sent me a telegram. Yes, yes, I was a little bit worried there that I'd, I'd missed you. I uh, know, there was just a delay in getting the wagon out at uh, Sanctony. Oh, thank goodness. But yeah, I definitely would be happy to uh, have a bit of a chat and, and see if I'd be a good fit for the Transit Authority. All right, you can handle the wagon. Oh, yes, yes, it's a, a, a couple of extra horses that I was used to in London, but it should be all right. All right, well, uh, you grab the reins. I'll do the, uh, we'll, do, we'll do the interview on the road. Oh, very, all right. Uh, to, to Tumbleweed, was it? Eh, hey, stop at every city you can. Well, oh, sorry. Oh, shit. oh that happened so many times. It... I, 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 it was just an impulse. No, it's good to know you're going to defend the coach. No! Oh, goodness. 
Sorry, sorry. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Flood. We can have a problem here, Groves. No, sir, how do I? It's just a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. How do I? I don't know how to control myself. <laughs> how do I? I think... I, I think I've settled down. All right. I do apologize. I... I did not realize. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I just... I do... I'm very sorry, Mr. Flood. No, perfectly fine. It happens a lot. I'm sorry to hear that, but I imagine it must be good business for the bathhouse here. Aye, uh, we don't stop the bathhouse here. You know, they seem, but they seem quite lovely here. Yes, yes, uh, a bit odd, but nice enough, I suppose. I'll give it that. I, spoke, I was speaking to a, uh, a Miss uh, Lynn Wood earlier, who's a master bather. She was telling me all about the services they offer here, and, uh, I thought, oh, maybe, maybe next time. Yeah, perhaps. All right. Uh, let me just take the paintboard again. I'll grab our clipboard before we... Uh, uh, will I be wanting to take a left up here or a right? Yeah, take a left. A left? All right. I, just, I, I, have, I have not been uh, further west than Valentine. <laughs> okay, we're going to be in for a good time then. So just don't I, crash I, the wagon. You'll be fine. Uh, do, oh, someone's bloody horse is in the way. Yeah, maneuver it. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, you got a lot of turn on these. Please don't run in front of the other horses. That's a good girl. Oh, boy. Horsey. More horses out in the middle of the road. What is going on here? Goodness. This is like an obstacle course. Exactly. The Valentine obstacle course. <laughs> Easy does it. Shoo! Get out of here! Mo They're not budging at all! Alright, Mr. Left. Groves. Yep, take lift. Alright, another bloody horse! Get out of the way! <laughs> Yo, Peppa! Alright, Mr. Groves, why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? Well, born and, born and raised in England. Um, my father and I would uh, take the train, you know, from the from the county into into London, and that was always the highlight of my day. And then in my later years, I uh, moved to London, you know, working there best I could, mainly mainly down at the train yard. But uh, they never had room for me to uh, operate the trains or anything like that. But I was more, you know, moving cargo and such from point A to B, and then the odd. You know, passenger wagons around London, and then uh, you know, we've got the, the the underground and everything booming over there. But it's just there's just too many, there's just too many, uh, there's too many people. So I figured, why not start a new out here in the new world, and uh, where there's less, hopefully, less competition. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, so you have plenty of experience, it sounds like. You're handling this team fair enough, too. Oh, very basic, but I just... I always just wanted to do more. To do something better, but this, there was just never really the... Oh, what was that? Was it a rock? Yeah, they're a rock or a possum. Po possum? Oh, goodness. But, so, yeah, my, my dream is to... Possum. You know, one day... You know... Driving a, a steam locomotive is, is definitely would be fulfilling a childhood dream of mine. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's, I, I arrived here a couple of weeks ago, so still, you know, learning all the customs and such here. But uh, it's been, everyone's been quite lovely so far. Mm, all right. Well, in the Transit Authority, we, uh, we travel a lot. We're around just about everywhere, so you can definitely get to... Uh, see the sights as it was get to familiarize yourself how are you with a uh, firearm i've never held one in my life i'm sorry to say 
Are you against holding one and learning how to use it? Not at all. It's just back in London, it wasn't a great need for, for that. And I, I haven't run into any trouble here yet. But I see how just about everyone's got a rifle slung over their shoulders, which has me a little nervous. Yeah, we got, uh, I got one right down here. Oh, you're expecting trouble, are we? Not always. Well, I suppose hey, it's better be safe. It could be someone that's, uh, you know, beleaguered by wolves and such on the side of the road, so it doesn't hurt not to have one. It's I a see. Standard what? issue when someone's running a shotgun as well on a coach just to have a firearm. Well, I'd be happy to learn. Definitely not a case that I just, yeah, there was never any need, you know. There was just the odd bit of fisticuffs back in London, but that was the, you know, the odd bloke would pull a knife, but, you know, there'd be enough people around, it wouldn't be too much of a trouble. All right. Let's see you take this uh, turn here up coming on the left under the covered bridge. Go under the bridge. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's affirmative. What, down through those rocks? No, definitely not. There's another park wagon and don't go. Oh down my here. goodness, we, we are definitely going under. You said under the bridge. Yeah, under the covered bridge. Oh my. Nope, too wide. Is is that is that is that a slope? It is. So follow the road, and you're gonna. No, all right. You just gotta oh. follow the road. Follow the road. I just I I can't see where you want me to go down. I'm just a little... Oh my god! <laughs> it's the frontier. It's a rough country. It sure is, damn. And take a sharp left right about now. Right, left, and you are good. Oh, we're going across the bridge. Mm hmm. Oh, thank goodness! I thought you meant to go down through that. God, dare I say, <laughs> a gully. <laughs> We stay on the roads when we can. It'll tear up the wheels. I do have a, you know, a repair kit here, but well, I'd rather not to run the wheels. Yeah, it's best, best to save it if we can. Yeah. Don't want to go running a mop. Exactly. All right. So with the uh, the transit authority here, you're going to be trained in firearms and such. We train alongside the sheriff's department. Oh. Hey. Yeah, you can go either way. It don't matter. Oh, I suppose down by the river might be nice. Yeah. No, yeah, I've never so, been out here yet. This beautiful countryside. Oh, yes. Is there, There's no clear crossing here? Uh, right between those rocks to your left. Okay. Goodness. Yeah, if you go from out behind these rocks here, uh, the, the wagon will flower. Well, we don't want that. I can't say I've ever driven a boat before. Well, you get a chance. Transit Authority has a fleet of boats as well. Oh, let me. And that'll be exciting. Standard, uh, standard protocol is to get trained on all of them. Oh, that sounds spectacular. All right. <laughs> well, so we can teach you the firearm. It's no problem to train with the sheriff's department. We do a lot of training with them as well as the medics. Uh, part of the whole aspect of transit is you're also going to be working security in some aspects. So oh, really? Uh, left here. Oh, left. Oh, follow the rainbow, eh? Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be a tight, uh, tight pass up here, so just watch <laughs> out. Not a problem. Uh, but yeah, so we handle security elements too for all our passengers and uh, the medical team as well. So you'll be working alongside doctors a fair bit. Oh, wonderful! Good to have some company on the road. Exactly, and they're very grateful when we uh, we bring them place to place in the wagons. And I mean, hell, sometimes you might be going into an active firefight. Oh, heavens. Oh, I definitely need that firearm training then. Exactly. I was a bit shocked uh, the other day in St. Denis. I was uh, walking down to the post office and then a series of gunshots fired off and then a number of people on horseback rode off. And I thought, I, I quickly dove for cover. And then when it looked safe, I went down to check and everyone was just standing around as if it was just another day. But I thought they had done a... A, a, a drive-by shooting, so to speak, of the train station. But they were just firing in the air as a form of celebration, which was... You don't see that back home. No, definitely not. 
Alright, so uh, how would you deal with an unruly customer as a member of transit in a hypothetical sense? Oh, good. Well, I guess I'd start by very politely asking, what's the matter? Try to get to the root of... Try to get to the root of what's bothering them. Nothing a good bit of conversation can't fix. If, if everyone's nah, having, having a willing ear. You chatter them down rather than, say, trying to restrain them and shove them off. Oh, no, no, I would be, I'd be asking you, oh, please say, you know, what, what seems to be troubling you? Is this, have I offended you by chance, or, like, what, what's, come on, sir, what's the matter? There's no need for that sort of behavior. We're gentlemen, you know, that sort of, you know, try and talk them down. All right, yeah, that's fair. We definitely prefer people to use their words before they go to action, uh, and I mean. Uh, left or right here? Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, the right it is. Yeah, no, so we like uh, we like people just to use their words before they go pull an iron, but sometimes they might have to, unfortunately. Oh, I hope it wouldn't come to that, but I guess, you know, if, if all other avenues have failed, then you're left with little choice. Yeah. The, way I, the way I tell everyone is that, uh, you know, you got to be mindful of yourself and your passengers' uh, well-being. Sometimes that does entail, uh, you know, standing, standing tall. Not yeah. saying you have to stand up to a big old gang or nothing, but, oh. uh, you know, if you got you got some other transit officer behind you, you don't need to, uh, what's the big word, uh, capitulate immediately. I, I see. You know, we'll so make this is sure, really yes. a difficult place for you. you want to take care of the passengers and, of course, the horses here. Exactly. Oh, this is so a lovely. So you're going to want to take over on the bridge to the left. Bridge on the left. All right. This is yeah. this is lovely, isn't it? This is cute. They have a town of strawberry, and what we're going to do? We don't see anyone at the stop at the telegram office, so we can just keep on going. I see. Oh, yes. Easy there does you go. it. It's there. You, go. you got you got to hang in the turn. It's yeah. a different environment, but it's sort of similar to the, some of the small back streets of London, in a sense. Yeah. Left here. Yep. Right on up. Oh, Rando. Yeah, masturbate. I was so losing my shit. So how do you shit. say you respond to a pressure or a stressful situation? A lot of this job's thinking on your feet, being quick and being clever. Oh, well, you know, back in London, you know, there's the fair share of problem solving. Got to be got to be willing to think quickly and come up with solutions, sometimes by yourself, sometimes with others. Try and, you know, find the best solution amongst the group rather than, you know, your your idea is not always the best. You want to hear everyone's suggestions. A um, bit of stress. Just try and hope that you know it will be over soon. And it's nothing a, a good uh, smoke of the pipe or a cup of tea can fix later. Fair enough. I mean, uh, they got a fair share of tea around here, but we're gonna have to get you uh, raised up on some strong coffee. Coffee? Well, I suppose. Oh, yes. What's wrong with a good cup of tea? Oh, yeah, I mean, nothing's wrong with it. I drink some myself, but sometimes when you're going to be on these coaches, you might want some stronger. Oh, I could just keep having just ha some more tea. I, sp I suppose if coffee's the, the drink of choice around here, I'd be happy to give it a go. Everyone knows a good cup of coffee. You're like, nah, don't want to do it. Uh, nah, left or right? I uh, left. So, uh, this is the part of the, uh, little interview here where I ask, uh, have you committed a crime or is there anything looming over your head you want to let us know before we continue? Oh, look, I, I surely hope not. I, nothing that comes to mind. Um, but yes, as I'm quite new to your country, so I hope that I haven't offended anyone with, you know, the, the culture I've brought from across the pond. Um, but everyone I've met so far has been very polite, very accommodating. Um, I've partaken in some chores at the, the ranches between Saint Denis and Valentine. Um, I've, sp I've met a couple of law enforcement officers who have assured me that my citizen registry has been finalized thanks to the detective I met before. And um, 
I've been offered a. The, uh, my heart was set on, well, on you know, an interview here, but I, a few other people have offered me jobs as you know, a, a, someone to clean people at one of the roadhouses and such. So it's been, it's been all good, I think. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, they pay pretty well, I figure, but, uh, you know, if this is what you want, I'm more than happy to have you. Oh, this is definitely more my cup of tea. Oh, God. <laughs> I get, yes, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next bit's going to be me uh, just kind of reading little bits off from our handbook to give you an idea of what you're going to be getting into. All right. So, uh, the duties of a transit officer vary from conducting or engineering or driving other vehicles, such as this coach here. Uh, you know, handling fare and tickets, giving it to passengers, providing security, uh, directing and, you know, keeping care of your passengers, as well as handling, uh, vehicle rentals or deliveries. Mm -hmm. Or any lawful task requested of you by the senior officers. Uh, to achieve all this, the SCTA has a fleet of boats and wagons that are at your disposal. As well as the trains, of course. Oh yes, don't forget the trains! So, law enforcement and medical staff who are on duty ride all of our vehicles for free. Mm -hmm. uh, when they're off duty, tickets are $2. With the exception of the SCSD, all passengers are to remove their long arm or bows and store them on their horse or in one of the chests on the train. Yes. Passengers failing to do so are going to be asked to leave. Fair enough. Uh, you're to keep a written record of all passengers who embark and disembark from the train. This is particularly important in your uh, role as a trainee. Yes. So I highly advise you getting like a notebook or something when we uh, got some time. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, you're to send telegrams to law to advise the SCSD of the routes we're taking at each uh, station stop, uh, as well as to keep them informed of any suspicious ongoings or incidents that you encounter. Oh, yes. Say, heaven forbid we were to be robbed, you know, we'd be sending a tip to the law. Uh, oh, yes. Station. Would want that sorted out for sure. Uh, there's to be no unauthorized standing on top of any vehicle, and the caboose area on a train is restricted to the SCTA and SCSD personnel only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no set times at stations. You're free to move on whenever you can. Uh, up here to the right. To the right? Mm -hmm. uh, you're to announce your train or vehicle upon arrival and keep a journal record. No, I ain't been doing that because we don't have anyone at our stops here for the wagon. Uh, any disputes or issues of concerns with the SCTA personnel are to be brought to the attention of the director and, or senior officers. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, you're to behave in a professional manner whilst on duty. Of course. Now, these are the most important ones. Just anything that you uh, you learn in this interview, in this talk, it is these ones. The first being that there is only ever to be one train on the west and eastern lines at any given time. Can't have two trains on the eastern line. There's too much stress, it'll crack the rails. Last time someone did that, we had to pull the trains out of service for a couple of months. Oh. That's a shame. So there's always one on each route. Yep, at maximum. That makes sense. There's a maximum of seven SCTA personnel for a train. That is six staff and one engineer or driver. On wagons, it's six. Boats, it's six. Just an easier number to manage on a wagon in, uh, in patrol, whereas the seven is uh, to keep the train better secured. Yes, uh -huh. You are to keep your eye on the vehicle at all times. One person must always be watching the vehicle. Makes sense. The authority of the transit staff does not extend beyond the vehicle, 
the associated buildings and your passengers. Mm -hmm. That is very important to know. We have no authority outside of those. We can't go around waving guns around. Uh, you can keep moving now. There's no one here. Uh, left uh, or right? You can take our right. And it's effectively just a strike shot out of town. This is very important uh, for the authority, considering the fact that when uh, transit authority are uh, protecting others, our authority does not, I said authority a lot there, our purview does not extend beyond those individuals. For instance, we can't go around if someone has a gun on someone that isn't our passengers or people we're working security for. You know, we can't go to their aid. Yeah, that could get a bit, a bit hairy. Exactly. And in those situations, we always let them know. For the most part, it isn't an issue because, you know, the medics are unarmed and we are. And we'll be very clear with that. But in you know, cases where we have ample security, uh, we'll let anyone that we're escorting know. If there is an issue, we'll take care of it. Please stay back. Uh... Whilst on duty, you are not to... Oh, you gotta turn the F back here, sorry. Oh, my apologies. Hey, you just go over the... Yeah, right there. Uh, whilst on duty, you're not to take any job board posting. We want you working. Not, uh, you know, hauling around freight that isn't uh, authorized by any of the officers. Mm-hmm. Now onto company standards, uh, it's a requirement of your employment that you wear a designated uniform, which is clean, professional, and tidy when presenting for duty. Wearing a mask or any face coat ain't permitted. Uh, details of the items of clothing will be supplied after successful completion of training and are to be at the employer's own cost. Employee's own cost, sorry. Oh, yes. And when being accepted as an employee, you're going to be issued a key to telegram stations around the crossing. Uh, in these, we have small lockups for uh, weaponry and all sorts of goods that you need when running these. You know, hammers, uh, coal bags, all sorts. You'll learn more about that in your training. Uh -huh. You're to only use what you need and not stockpile these. And it's a breach of your employment conditions to sell them. Except bribes for personal gain or intentionally misuse said items. Breaching the above is going to possibly include uh, suspension. Understand charges. Yes. That would be no good. Exactly. <laughs> and if you want to carry your own personal weapons, say you, you, go, you go, you're fond of like a double action revolver. Uh, you can carry that on duty, just as long as you're aware that if you lose it, well. It's out of your own pocket. Yes, yes. Suggested all employees on duty have on their person a pair of binoculars, that journal I mentioned, a lantern, some bandages, and uh, some food to get you through your shift. Oh, I don't leave. I don't leave home without a couple of apples at least. Keep me fired up. Enough, I get. Sorry, I had to mean to cut you off. You're all right. All right. Uh, next is just your departure announcement. So when you get to a station, train or otherwise, you just kind of have to give a quick uh, shout. That it goes from, uh, you know, uh, let me do an example here. Saints Cross and Transit Authority welcomes you to the town of Armadillo. If you want to board, please see myself, Senior Officer Flood. Uh, tickets are three dollars. There's to be no long arms or bows. Please stay off the compartment roof, out of the caboose, or on top of the vehicle. Now, our next stop is going to be uh, Tumbleweed. When you're ready to leave, you're then going to do your final call. But you know, you know, last stop all aboard. Yes. Uh, do I cross this bridge? Uh, no, we went far off road. Oh, um, the right. Yeah, this back bridge there? ain't finished. Oh, I see. You'll have to pull us back. We've used this before uh, to get around roadblocks. 
you know, dastardly criminals looking to rob the coach. No. Well, I suppose, yeah, in situations like that, you've got to change it up a little. Exactly. You're just going to take a left here. Sorry, I'm just taking a drink here. Oh, good. It's still good to stay hydrated. Exactly. I got to do a lot of talking, sure. <laughs> yeah. Not <laughs> all good. So. Uh, uh, left or right? Left. If you head right, that takes you up into tall trees. Oh, I've, I've heard there's uh, cuddly bears up there. You mean cannibals? Uh, uh, cuddly bears is the words, I believe. This pair oh, used. Right. Yeah, they ain't cuddly bears. Those are grizzly bears. Uh, oh, yes, they mentioned those as well. Yeah, they, they ain't friendly. Oh. Oh, dear. They, they'll eat you. I don't want that. So I told them, the most we have to deal with back in England is, you know, just a fox or a badger or something. Yeah, don't go shooting a grizzly bear with anything less than a uh, long arm. You ain't gonna have a good day. Oh, I certainly won't be going looking for a fight with a bear in his eye soon. Eh, you never know. Get, uh, get you on a hunting job one time. Uh, just straight on this road here. Ah, oh, is? Yeah, right there. Yep. And then you're going to be turning into the ranch when it comes up. Oh, so we're really heading out west now, are we? Oh, yes. So, uh, railway switches. When you're running a train, it's important to know that we have 14 rail switches around the crossing. Oh. Uh, these rail switches go either left or right from a straight track, depending how they've been set. It's important to plan your journey first and telegram in when you need to change those routes. We have one of the, uh, one of the uh, staff members run ahead and switch the switches for you. Uh-huh. Uh, in a pinch, you can t talk to your engineer. Uh, your local engineer will be Earl, Steve, Frederica, or Bill. And uh, if you talk to them, you can uh, get the route changed up. The uh, worst case situation is you're going to be uh, doing some very technical work. You're going to grab a hammer from the train, and you're going to do what I call smacking the shit out of the switch. <laughs> Yep, got to use a, a bit of a bit of uh, manpower to kind of knock it around. Do we want to stop here? Uh, up ahead, there's a small little station. I oh yes. See it? There's gonna be a big wagon wheel next to the uh, little bench and some chairs. It's generally where we stop the wagons. Hey, there's no one really here, but. Seems deserted. Yeah, that west can be. I think you should keep heading straight. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There you go. Now you're getting the hang of it. I feel a bit more comfortable out in this wide open space. Yeah, go, uh, go full speed. Really let the horses run. So unless defending yourself or the train or others from immediate danger, such as being shot at, you're not to engage in any acts of violence, nor are you to intentionally harm any person. Mm -hmm. All ST personnel are to follow and listen to SCSD commands at all times and avoid harming civilians or other personnel. Uh, you're to stay inside of the train unless told to leave under threat, uh, in which case you're to uh, come on back when it's safe to do so. Right. Uh, you have the right to reasonably refuse passage to any person or persons who is a known violent criminal and has made threats upon you or any member of the SCTA. You also have the right to order them off the train if they're endangering themselves or the lives of others. Uh, the SCSD should be informed of any such incidents. So if someone's uh, you know, having a fist fight on a moving train, that's, that's grounds for them to, you know, Tell them to stop. If they don't stop, they'll 
and get off the track. Yeah, that is certainly not the time or the place. Exactly. So, on that note, for negotiation, uh, all security teams are going to have a designated negotiator, or at least try to. When appointed as security in a negotiation role, you're to negotiate with your aggressor and not move to violence immediately. Uh, we're not the law, nor do we have the skills nor inclination to do so. Uh, so be mindful of your tone of voice and try to work towards a peaceful solution. Use mm -hmm. the words, not your weapons. Mm -hmm. Be patient, ready to listen, and try and be the reporter and hope to influence your aggressor. And do appear remain, remain calm. Uh, so we have three boats uh, for part of our ferry service. The horse boat, the tugboat, and the turbine boat. These are located in Blackwater, St. Denis, and Annisburg. Those are the uh, depots you can take them out of. These uh, boats really, uh, they're still going with some retrofits, so uh, only the horse boat is the one. Be very careful around here, you're getting ornery about the wagons. Yeah, I found where it is. Good day. Hi, Mr. Blood. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Nice flag, man. Thank you. So about half those people were highly oh. dangerous outlaws. Is that all all right? I don't know. I thought I was a bit further away from it. I did too. Let's keep moving in in case that was one of their horses and they're going to get mad at us. Oh, uh, left or right? Uh, left. Left! Going get left! Us out of here. This is a bit of a rough town, is it? Uh, yeah, the, um, everyone back there was a highly dangerous outlaw. What? Yes. Oh my god! I didn't want to scare you as we were going by them. They seem so friendly, though. Yeah, it's because I was on the wagon. If it was just you, you'd probably get robbed. Goodness gracious! Oh! Oh my god! So, uh, multiple ferries can be running up and down the river at any one time. Prior to passengers boarding, just give them a safety talk. You know, no long arms or bows, don't enter the cockpit. If someone falls overboard, let the staff know immediately. Uh, you throw them a life vest or something. Exactly. You got a lasso for that, so you get good at it. Uh, uh, don't put your hands into any of the machinery on the ropes, everything like that. <laughs> uh, there's no limit on passengers on boats, but use a, a no-nonsense sort of thing. Don't uh, don't put 12 people on a boat, and, you know, unless the boat's big enough to handle them. <laughs> Want to make sure everyone's comfortable. Exactly. Uh, all our wagons, or we have a fleet of wagons that can be accessed at all the wagon stations right across. Alright, that's all the reading I'm gonna do. A lot of the reading I gotta do. The next part's gonna be uh, some questions I got for you. A little test, quiz, if you will. Alright. So, question one. What is the primary goal of a train conductor? A, to get passengers safely from station to station. B, to tell the train driver when it's safe to commence the journey. Or C, uh, all of the above. Oh, good. Uh, I'd be inclined to say all of the above? Correct. So, question two. Who has more authority over a train robbery during over a train during a robbery? Train staff or law? Oh. Oh, that's a tough one. Well, like I know our jurisdiction, so to speak, like you said before, is only about the you know, the vehicle and, and the buildings really. And I guess direct passages to it to it to a degree. So I would say 
If the law are present, I would say the law get the, would get the final say. That's correct. Uh, so how this happens is that uh, most of the time when we're doing uh, transit work and there's law board, they'll usually integrate with us. Uh, because they respect us and they know we have most experience, but technically, in the case of a robbery, if we had a, you know, a majority of deputies aboard, the deputies would take over. Yeah, it's much more experience with, uh, criminals. Exactly. Uh, you're gonna wanna take this, uh, right here. Oh, yeah. It's just getting a little hard to up see. The hill. Oh, yeah, yes. up the hill and then left when you get up the hill. Yeah, so that, that's kind of the crux of it, right? You, you're trying to, uh... Whoa, look out! I'm turning away from you! Careful! You what the hell? <laughs> you to be a bit crazy. But yeah, so, uh, it's, it's a balancing act, honestly. And if, uh, say we're running a train where we have enough security, uh... The SCSD will let us handle everything for the most part. Mm hmm. Uh, just keep right, uh, left here. Left, yep. Yeah. <coughs> Which road is uh, in charge of physically driving the train? Hey, it was the, uh. Was the engineer? Correct. Are non staff allowed to stand on the coal wagon? No. Should people be walking on top of the carriages or wagons? I would bloody well hope not, especially when it's moving. All right. Now you can hand me the reins. I'll take this into town. There you are. We'll stop here and finish off the interview, and then we'll keep going. The next part, you might need to actually stop and think for these ones, because they get a bit, uh, a bit involved, I'll say. All right. Hopefully we don't get robbed. Here's a bit of a bit of a geography question for you. Oh goodness! All right, I'll try my best. What are the two next possible stops, leaving Saint Denis headed west? Uh, uh so when I came out of Saint Denis, uh, Rhodes and Valentine. Correct. Uh, describe to me. As the, to the best of your ability, the process of switching the rail switches. That one you want to communicate ahead after you've planned your route. Mm-hmm. Then hopefully a number of people can take care of it for you. And? And, well, if uh, it sounded like if, if they are unsuccessful, I believe in your words, it was beat the ever-living shit out of uh, it, the switch with a hammer. Technical turn, smack the shit out of it, yep. Yes. That's correct. So, this is the last part of the interview, and these are scenarios. So, give me the best, your, your, your best answer after, to fit the situation, so. You are a conductor on a train from Valentine to Rhodes. There are five passengers and two train staff aboard. The train is being robbed, and armed robbers are also on the train, outnumbering you. One of them tells you to stop the train and asks you how many people are aboard. What do you do, and what do you say? Well, if they're being awfully rude, I'd rather not give them anything, but for the safety of myself and the passengers, I would have to calmly tell them there's, there's five passengers. Correct. And you stop the train and all that. Yes, yeah, anything to make them calm down and try and talk about it like we're civilized people. All right. The train is being robbed by four armed people. 
They have a hostage and have told you to stop the train and open the safe. You are presently aboard with equal numbers of a security team. As the conductor. Uh, what do you do? Oh, goodness. Well, I don't want... I... It'd be a shame to open the safe, but I certainly don't want a hostage getting hurt. I suppose if we've got the even numbers, I suppose we would attempt to, to stand our ground and verbally tell them to to cut it out. Correct. With even numbers of security, uh, you would allow the uh, negotiator to take over. And they, they would handle that situation from there. Uh, keeping in mind that we don't have access to any keys to open the safes. Oh, that thank is the, heavens. Uh, the depot manager. They ultimately, uh, they're the ones that lock it and unlock it at every stop. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, it's more for safety. Uh, just so, like you said, that someone can't rob a key off our key ring or you know, hold us at gunpoint and take a key from us. They have to, they have to break the safe itself. And a lot of times, the safes are strong enough to deter a lot of thieves. <laughs> Good to hear. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I recently got to try to crack a safe. Ugh. They are very hard to break open. All right, here's the big one. Let me know if you need it repeated. All right. You climb aboard the train along with several passengers and begin your job as train security. Two other train employees are also working, one engineer and one conductor. The train staff have been notified through a telegram that the law will board the train at the next stop. However, as you depart to head to the next stop, you find a farm wagon parked around the tracks around the next bend. How do you think this scenario would play out, and what, what would be your role as train security? Well, I wouldn't want to be stepping on the toes of the engineer or the conductor, but let's say I was the first one to, to witness this wagon ahead on the road. I would definitely be suggesting that we perhaps stop to, 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 to not risk any damage to well, the wagon and ourselves. All right. So what do you do? Well, you have a stop, you get off the train? Well... I suppose, I suppose I would be... I would be... Hoping that we would stop. To have... To, to, to not have any damage occur. Of course. Okay, you do that, and uh, I assume you move the wagon? Yeah, see if, yeah, see if the owner is around, or... Or if we can just move it to the side. All right. <coughs> As you step off the wagon, you're surrounded by several men who step out of the bushes with guns trained on you. Oh. Uh, they say that this is a robbery. Uh, what's your response? Well, I suppose I tell them that they're really barking up the wrong tree, interrupting these passages, wanting to get home or wherever they get to work or wherever they need to be. I suppose you said there's several of them, and if I've There's stepped four in one of you, no, well, I suppose I'll be being as polite as I can be to find out what exactly they want, so they can get it over with whatever they want and leave us alone. Yep, they then proceed to rob the train and passengers. Uh. So this situation is based on a natural situation. There's many ways you can answer this, and just like in the field, many ways to tackle it. Uh, you don't have to always ride into an incident. You can do something like order the train to be reversed and pull away from the ambush. Because you know you have deputies on the other side of that wagon, so you can go back to town. The train can reverse, and you can uh, send a telegram to those deputies to come clear it for you. Ah, uh, yes, yes. You know, alternatively, uh, you can just change your route and not go down that route. So explore any other option. I, I imagine ramming the wagon is out of the question. Uh, not typically. That's the very last, the very, very last solution. I'd imagine so. We don't want to damage the train. We don't want to breach the boiler and have everything go up like nothing. Well, that makes sense. It, 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 
We might not be able to see. There might be someone inside said way. Yep, or on it, or on the tracks. There's a whole host of reasons. Well, alright, Mr. Rose, do you have any questions for me, or anything you'd like clarified, or anything you, you want me to go over? Oh, no, I feel like you've been quite thorough. It's really given a very good, broad... A very good, broad explanation of sort of what to expect. It sounds very much sort of what I imagined. And, uh... Sounds like a great responsibility. All right. Well, Mr. Gropes, uh, I, you know, you've answered everything to my satisfaction. I see no reason why. Uh, so I'd like to uh, welcome you as a trainee to the Saints Cross and Transit Authority. Oh, uh, th thank you very much. It oh. It's truly made my day. Well, I'm certain you'll enjoy it here. We got a good selection of people, and I uh, think you're only going to add to that. I'll certainly do my best. All right. Well, I have to go. I have to um, update some paperwork. Have you, could you grab me a stew or something inside there? Maybe get yourself something to eat, because uh, it's going to be a long trip back. Yeah, certainly. I'll go grab some refreshments. All right. I'll finish up your paperwork. Yay! Jolly good. Yo, Damo, it is, man. But it, um, on this server, that's when um, a lot of the overseas people are on, so... It's really cool. Yeah, you know, when I logged onto the server, there was like 170 people or something. And I was like... It's just, it's just fascinating. It's like, there's just a whole bunch of people that I just, you know, the sort of people I don't usually play with, which is really exciting. Um, and I don't do much during the day on, on weekends anyway. But, um, I'm, I'll grab a... A spare for each. Um, and it's all alcohol. From there, so just stew for him. Ba bomb 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 bomb. Oh, where'd he go? Oh. oh, hold on. We gotta fix up the wheels here, so I'll get you to work. All right. <laughs> uh, how would I? How would one go about handing you a stew? I've just gotta. Just kind of got really look at me there. Appreciate that. One for the road right. and one for at home. Appreciate it. All right, now get that coat off. We're going to get you uh, doing some manual work here. And there's going to be a hammer. And uh, you're going to want to take about ooh, four pieces of that wood there. Those are spars. we got to fix the wheels up here. Right, I've got a hammer. I've got some wood. All right, now you're going to look around here and see where the wheels are damaged the most. So it looks like here on the right side, probably going to be the worst style. Probably when I bumped into that horse. Yeah, could have been. And then, you know, sometimes you go off-road and they, uh, they get a bit uh, misaligned. You got to get on there. I suppose, yeah, there's the most technical of terms to smack the shit out of it with a hammer. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I'm smacking the 
the nail rather than my finger. Exactly. You just gotta put it back on the, uh, the you gotta put the uh, the wheel back on the axle and just make sure it hits real hard. I suppose there was an awful lot of really wild turns. A bit of wear and tear is expected. Yeah, especially on these big old coaches. This is my personal coach that I use. Uh, well, I, you know, it's transit, but I bought it for myself because I like the cross country coaches. Ah, lovely. Yeah, and it helps out too. The, the, the left side's all right. Uh, take a look. It's good to use a, a slight touch up, but it might be all right for a while. Yeah, it should be fine. All right, uh, you can load that back in the crate and put it in back. Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, how would I put this, uh, put this in the back of the wagon? Are you gonna be looking here at the, uh, the backboard? Then you're gonna kind of search inside of that, and then uh, stack the crate on the inside there. Stack it. I go to have a look inside, but I just can't see anything. And then if I try to think about opening something, I seem to just look inside the box. Uh, you should be able to stack it on yeah, the crate. Uh Oh dear. Uh It's okay. Take your time. All I can really think about is opening and putting down and destroying. And you're looking in the back of the wagon, not the box itself. Oh, possibly. Let me let me have a look. Oh. Uh. I go to have a, a, a look in the contents, and I am, I can see it almost in my mind's eye, like a little, like a, a red bar. Is is something supposed to appear once it's completed? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing is appearing. Ah. Okay. If you could just set the crate down, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Interesting. That happens sometimes. Okay. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, can you bring that crate towards the stables? I'll uh, bring this and get it fixed. <laughs> it's always like I want to be like, can you look at my stream and tell me what I'm doing wrong? <laughs> Good morning to you.
Try putting it in the back. I think the lo the lock gets stuck on it sometimes, and we got to bring it to the Wayne right and have him uh, use his pry pry bar and you know pull it open. There we go. There we are. Yeah, fantastic. Let me see if I can still access if the lock didn't get stuck. Perfect. All right, grab the reins. All right, we're gonna bring us slowly off into the road. <laughs> and essentially, we're gonna take the same path back. Oh yes, yes. Well, we we we'll, we'll be going through that that town again. Yes. Right. This is a uh, part of the wagon service. I'm trying to get the coach lines back up from out west to two off around the crossing. Very well then. Oh damn. Now, 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 now. There might be some deputies in town, in which case they'll have told the uh laws to kick rocks. Yeah, get out of that. Go, go bother someone else. Exactly. We'll have to stop in that town too, so I can use the telegram station and uh, send your papers to the board. All right. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Giddy up. Oh, hold well on, actually. Thanks, not the wagon. Let's pull us over. We're in the middle here. Might as well get you some firearm experience. Ba bum bum bum. Hey, start you out on a pistol. Watch it, she's loaded. Right. See that signpost over there? Yes. Well, what you're going to want to do, keep your back straight, your arm loose, and it'll help you with your stance. Back stiff, arm loose. Never point the gun at someone you ain't uh, ready to shoot at. Right. Brace it. Just take a deep, take a breath in and release. And as you release the breath, pull the trigger. All right. There you go. You hit it. It was there a certain sign you wanted me to hit, or just no, just the signpost in general. Oh, jolly good. Now, when you're ready to uh, fire your next bullet, pull the hammer back. It's going to cycle the cylinder, and you're going to get another bullet in there. Yeah, like that. Right. right try it again. Uh. Good shot. All right. Again. Yes. Well, bit of a miss. That's fine. Oh, I think, I think you knocked the H off that sign. Did I? Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Now, that could be fixed, right? Oh, yes. It'll be fine. All right. Now, when you reload that, and I think you got a few more shots left, so uh, why don't you just you know keep shooting? There you go. There, I 
thought so. All right, that means you're empty. Now, when you reload it, what you're gonna do with the Schofield, see that little hinge on it? Yes. It doesn't pop out, it, it pops down. So, to reload it, you're gonna break down the breach. You can just put your hand on top of the, the uh, on top of the barrel. And you're gonna pull that, uh, the, the small little switch next to the hammer. And that's gonna break it open. And then you're gonna reload like that. Right. Don't point it. You're gonna, you're gonna look at the, the, you know, yeah. There you go. There you go. And snap it back into place, and you're good. Oh, yeah. Right. Good to go again. Yeah. Uh, watch out. There's a rider coming by, so we'll let them pass. Bang! 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 Do you know what? Uh, Fan in the hammer is uh, uh, smacking the crap out of it with a hammer. No, that's smacking the shit out of it with a hammer. Now, see that little uh, the hammer is what you pull when you rotate your cylinder. Now to get as many bullets down range as you can, what you're gonna want to do is that your gun hand is going to come up and brace against your thigh or your hip, I guess. Right, right about your forearm is where you're going to do that. And your other hand is basically, you're going to slap the hammer multiple times. Smack the, smack the shit out of it with my hand. Exactly, with your palm. You're going to want to go with your palm. Okay. The most force you can get on that hammer, and you just keep, keep hitting it until the cylinder goes dry. All right. It's, it's widely inaccurate. But if you're ever getting attacked by a wolf or something, and, you know, you're not... You, the wolf's going to get you before you can, uh, you know, aim a shot off. It's going to be your best bet. We do not do this under any circumstance in a gunfight. It's probably one of the stupidest things you can do. But if you ever need to, you know, that 10% of the time to get that wolf off you, that's what you're going to want to do. All right. All right. All right. Give it a shot. You're probably not going to hit much of the sign, but give it a try. There you go. Oh, yeah, that gets really out of control. Exactly. But, you know, if that wolf is up in your face and you got to you gotta take care of it, well, that's how you do it. So let's make it count because yeah, those, all those bullets are going to be gone in a split second. No, exactly. That's why we got this. The Lancaster Repeater. 14 rounds. This is going to be most what you use to defend yourself and keep yourself safe. She's a bit dirty. Let me clean her up a little bit. Yeah, it's awfully oh, dusty out here. Yeah, I don't got any gun oil on me. Shit, they took it from me earlier. Ah, she's a bit dusty. So, essentially, much like, uh, you know, well, unlike your uh, revolver there. Gonna brace it on your shoulder. Hand there. And you're gonna see me working the action of this. That cycles around in every time. That's how you can get 14 bullets in there. Goodness, yes, you really smacked the shit out of that sign. Exactly. When you reload up through the breach here, just sliding the bullets in. Now you can do the same thing, much like your revolver, by not quite fanning it, but uh, pulling the lever. Yep! So if you ever need to provide, you know, uh, cover and fire. This is more so the weapon of choice you'll use. And the goal ain't to hit them. The goal is to shoot around them and make sure they keep their head down. So that's uh, covering fire. Exactly. Right. Very rare circumstances you'll need it, but, you know, I figure it's better to get people with their head down 
rather than uh, causing an issue. So that's uh, you put that revolver back in your holster, take it off your belt, and hand me back the, uh, the pistol and the ammunition. I'll hand you over the rifle. We'll give you a shot of that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, goodness. A bit bigger. Yeah, so what you're going to do is brace it up in your shoulder here. I'll help you out there. It's like a really long revolver. Exactly. Now, yeah. this thing's got a bit more kick than that revolver, so just really let it brace into your shoulder and let the recoil just continue into your shoulder. Might give you a bit of a sore one, but that's fine. Yep, go right down that side. Oh, yeah, goes a chunk of it. Yeah. Oh, I nearly got it. <laughs> there you go. That's a, that's a one sturdy bit of wood. I think it's two pieces of wood. And yeah, remember to reload it like I showed you. Oh, oh, it is. It's always good to count your bullets, too. Or at least oh. be mindful of how much you got left in. It becomes second nature eventually. Just one at a time like that. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it is. Yep. And we'll get, you're going to get a gun belt soon. You'll be able to tuck some ammunition on your belt. There you go. Look at that. Oh, shit. There's a... There's a Running right across. Oh. Ha ha ha! There you go. My goodness. That is quite exciting. Yeah. So what's going to happen is uh, eventually, after you do this ride along phase, you're going to be riding with. Uh, we call it the ride along phase because you're going to be. Uh, Hopping on a wagon or a train with myself or any other transit employee, they're going to give you feedback. And after that, we're going to proceed to your uh, uh, to your specialized training, which is where you're going to be taught to actually drive everything. Oh, yes. And after that, you'll be a part of the transit authority, and you'll only you'll only be able to take out like a train or a wagon or a boat after you've uh, done a supervised session. Which the essentially saddle. means that you get to conduct your own train. Wow, that, that is the dream one day. Yeah, but Goodness. after you finished your uh, specialized training, you'll be issued with your standard issue kit. So soon you'll be able to have one of those guns and the uh, revolver as well. Goodness, that's very exciting. Yeah? Well, let me get this back to you before I get carried away. It's exhilarating, ain't it? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, I see. Oh, you gotta take it off your belt. Oh, yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Very good. That's very exciting. I've worked up a bit of an appetite, though. Oh, yeah, feel free. Stew. All right, let's get done with it. It'll get your paperwork. Om nom nom. Yo, crow. Yeah, just been um, just been trying out wild RP for the, over the last few weeks. Just wanted to see if it, um... But eventually, you know, you'll get there. You've got pretty good aim, I'll give you that much. 
I just try to, try, I just try to center myself as best I can, and like you said, just, yeah, hold my breath and pull the trigger, watch for the mm -hmm. the the the, 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 pre the push back and such. Exactly. And it's always another thing when you're getting shot at. Myself, uh, I'm not that great with the rifle. I've got these spectacles on, and well. The moment those are gone, I, I can't hit the broadside of a barn. Old age comes for us all. Uh, yeah, the older I for, get, the, just the more tired I feel. Exactly. Three years ago, I didn't even need these help. I only started getting them, uh, I got this pair a year ago, and that's only because my wife was getting on me about how I was complaining that I couldn't see so well. Is it, were you having trouble reading, or was it having trouble seeing things far away? Far away. Uh. I can't hear shit. I can read a book right in front of me. I used to be a gunsmith, or I still am a gunsmith, technically, but, uh, I used to help manage a business at Rhodes. Still do from time to time. Uh, but I'm probably one of the best gunsmiths, humbly saying, in the cross. I remember oh. that accolade. No small yeah. feet. Yeah, well, my guns are, they're known for, you know, flood originals for a reason. I came into this transit authority because my uh, my wife uh, and I, we wanted to go on an adventure. We decided we'd join a company called Bluestone. Come they... to uh, a few, few, few months later, I'm running Bluestone. It's just after a few months. Yeah, yeah. And so what sort of adventures did you go on with this blue stuff? Oh, we did everything. We're a security company. And we handled private contracts. We got a contract with the state. Uh, the medics as well. That's where the medical escort for the SCTA began, actually. Ah! Yeah. And then we were actually, uh, you know, very popular, very, you know, very numerous. Uh, then the state came along and said, you know what, let's negotiate. We want to buy your company out, and we'll uh, integrate you into the SCTA. Oh, well, they, that's a nice little bit of history there. Exactly. So we kept all the medical escort uh, contracts, and now we're getting more. We we have one with the newspaper, too. We do uh, you know, wagon services and protection details. Oh, well, well there you go. And, you know, I won't say we don't get robbed, but we get robbed a bit less now that we have, uh, you know, a security team. I'd hope so. A lot of people respect the Transit Authority, too, because of work we do with the medics. And, I mean, most of those criminals back there, I've, I've gone into, you know, the aftermath of active firefights and uh, picked up their wounded and brought them back to the medics for them. Or transported the medics to them so they don't die. You would hope they'd remember that. Like, it's going above and beyond yeah, quite a few do quite a few do and they like seeing us out here a lot of folks some not so much but you know some of those outlaws they actually just like seeing the trains out here and the wagons coming back and forth oh, i look forward to seeing the trains as well oh yes we can stop up here uh you know where the loading area is you always see those like coaches and the dobs uh, signs where our loading areas are like a chair and a oh, table. I'll bring us back to it. Oh. Stopped turning it. Started turning a bit too late there. Oh, we will be fine. I hate reverse parallel parking. Is he here all right? Here'll be fine. All right, let's get your paperwork sorted. You can come on in and see the office. My opinion, this is probably one of the nicer offices in terms of just everything in here. There's some people having a sleep over there. Yeah. 
You can actually live in this office. So this little device here, this is our uh, our tip line telegram. So this is where we'll be able to check any incoming uh, tips that we get. You'll be able to access this eventually when your paperwork goes through. Now, once you've moved past the uh, trainee stage. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so I'm just checking here. Well, I've really worked up a bit of a thirst out here. This is the maybe the oh, driest yes. place I've ever been. Oh well, I think it has its nice charms. I like napping under the sun. You just send in your your things. <coughs> Excuse me. Bloody hot. <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Just thinking aloud. Some excellent progress today. Very exciting. A great leap forward towards working. All right, oh. I'll send off. I appreciate it. it was very quick. How would you like to get off? Oh, yes. We'd love to. Please. All right. We have a conductor that is running a train currently. <laughs> uh... I'll probably, I actually might have to get called somewhere to help move furniture, but I can drop you off there. That sounds amazing. Yeah, he's a uh, senior officer, Brampton. Brampton. Sounds good to me. How exciting. Yeah, I, I saw- Hold on to your hat. Oh, I've tucked it away. It's it's very hot out here. I might wait till we get back to where it's a little bit colder. Yeah, I saw on your um, Instagram stories, Shelby, the foster cat, which is very nice. Cute. Cats are. Oh, oh, God, look out! Some of these people, they just. They're very yeah. bad at getting out of the way. The locals around here, they. Uh really bad he's already making biscuits that's but yeah so uh wow officer brampton he's uh he's one of my my, my men from bluestone he joined the transit authority with me good guy bobby i think Bo you'll, you'll like him a lot bobby brampton bobby brampton uh, brampton walsh now actually oh brampton walsh right yeah he got married he, he'll always be uh bobby though Goodness. All right. Oh, very exciting. That's excellent, Shelby. Like, for a cat to already be settling in like that, that's great. It's because it's like... I figure since you're a big fan of the trains, it won't hurt to get you multiple experiences on your first ride along. Oh, yes. No, I, I have yet to see a train in America. So this will be the first oh, time I've yeah, seen one okay. here on this side of the pond. I think he's doing, uh, I think it was a passenger train. It's either a passenger or a freight train. <coughs> but it's good. Bobby's pretty well known for uh, the running the freight trains out on the eastern line. But it's good. It shows that the, the, it's a good if home it's for the cat. a freight cat. train, you might get to see the cold car. And it, and it shows that it's, uh, the cat's got a really good personality. So that's really nice I to hear. I don't know if you have them uh, back in Britain. I'm assuming so. But, the, uh, the what, sorry? The cold car. Uh, it's a car that's completely refrigerated. I don't, uh, I don't recall. I mainly just remember, you know, loading up lumber and boring things like that. 
All right. I swear, I, 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 I think the other day I was speaking to someone in regards to the, uh, the, the local jobs, and they mentioned something about moving ice or something. Yep, the ass jobs. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're fair. They're fairly good money. Uh, we can't do them while we're on duty, but off duty, you're permitted to. Well, it's, yeah, it would, uh, would help having a refrigerated carriage, wouldn't it? Kids love yeah, it. Uh, the refrigerator cars are very popular for ice moving and uh, as well as frozen, like cold meat. Uh, oh yes, produce from Guarma and all that. Can people uh, like pay money to store their ice in the ice carriage? Yes. Oh! Uh, generally, we'll, have, we'll handle that for free for them. Uh, oh, very nice. For the most part, we're paid a high wage, uh, so we don't really charge as much. I see. Uh, we're yep. subsidized by the state. We get a, a good pay wage, a good pay wage, so we don't need to, uh, you know, charge as much. Oh, good to hear. Tickets. Small things, you know, we'll, we'll charge uh, some money for tickets, but it's like two, three dollars. Oh, yeah, yes, you know, perfectly reasonable. It yeah, all, it all goes you know, back into the train yard. Yeah, precisely. But the state really wants to encourage transit use, uh, so they've essentially given us a bit of money uh, to subsidize it. Oh, that's a lot of people. Holy shit. Where are they going in such a hurry? Uh, turning around to look at us. Oh, this might not be good. Looks like one of them took a bit of a tumble. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think those people are about to get robbed. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. Or they're going to cut us off. Would there be... Do you think there might be deputies in the next town we can alert? Yeah, I think we're gonna go down there to Blackwater and let them know. Hey, sorry, Bobby Trim, I'd have to wait for you. Hey, it's never a dull night when you're uh, working to the Transit Authority, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Just, just uh, you know, this e this evening, I woke up to get on the shift, and I had fallen, fallen asleep in the office, and I woke up and I uh, had a gun shoved in my face. What? What did they want? I, uh, apparently, I had woken up and I was sleeping, and they didn't see me. I woke up as they had kidnapped one of the the uh, the transit officers, and were trying to get information on a file in our file work system. Oh my goodness! So I woke up immediately into that. Well, that's not what you want to wake up to at all. Exactly. And then nine deputies surrounded the telegram office. Oh, that's nice that the rescue came to your aid. Uh, almost immediately. <laughs> uh, I don't think we got any deputies. Nope. I'm not seeing or hearing anyone. That's a shame. Well, yep. time to go fast. <laughs> time to go fast. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, sh. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Lucky, maybe we'll beat him. Fingers, toes crossed. <coughs> oh, the pants was water grouse, and they took. There's only two that you can get through with a wagon. Horses got a bit free. What's all this coming up on the left? Uh, that's the market. Ah. So in there, you're gonna have a lot of furniture you can buy for your place, and then um, tomorrow in the morning. Leave at, uh, I want to say like 11, 12. Uh, they have the market there, the Blackwell Market. Oh, lovely. And a bunch of uh, folk come around, they sell produce and goods, and, you know, things like lemons that you can buy. 
Oh, oh that, that group of horses is still on the move. They, they're heading around the left of this forest. Strawberry, then. Good eyes, good eyes. That's something you always want to do when you're a shotgunner. Hopefully they're not riding ahead to cut us off. If they are, we're going to do something they don't expect. We're going to go in their path. <laughs> How did you even get, get robbed on well, like my first day? <laughs> get held up. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm the best wagon driver in the cross. I'm definitely seeing how it's done. Oh, look out! <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> this is very scary on my end. <laughs> the mail don't stop for anyone. Hey, what would you prefer, Albert? Albert's fine by you. Albert is fine. The mail don't stop for anyone, Albert. It always has to be on time. That is very true. It's just, it's a little erratic in my eyes. That's all right. You see, it's, it's a controlled chaos. Welcome to the transit authority, Elver. Everything <laughs> we do is controlled chaos. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> Trust me, Alfred. After some time, Alfred, sorry. After some time, uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get some killer in you. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That'll be the day. <clears throat> Woo! Oh god. Woo! Eek! Uh, yeah. Ah, don't worry. After some time, you'll you'll understand. There we go. Ah, there she is. <clears throat> Hello. Good evening. Followed by these fucking wolves for like ten minutes. Oh sh! You have, you have a gun? No, I put them all away. So I've conducted, and I sent my horse off. So you were just stuck on I'm the just rooftop. On the roof of the wolves. You scared yeah. them away though. Don't worry. I think the wagon scared them off. Yeah, it seems like it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, what did he do before? Touch his ear. TeamSpeak has crashed. Or oh, it's being weird. Uh, let's try and... He wants me to do some furniture, uh, moving for him, so... Figured yeah, if it's so fine uh... by you, I'll, uh... <laughs> Leave our leave our new trainee yeah. in your yep. capable hands. Sorry about that. Yeah, a bug so flew in my ear. Oh, hello. Good evening. Hi, I'm Bobby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bobby. Uh, Albert Groves at your service. It's a pleasure. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I suppose uh, you're joining me on the train. Certainly am. All right, lovely. Then I will have you. Uh, Collecting names and making call outs and all that. I'll show you how to do everything. Oh, but sounds we good. The show on the route. All right. I appreciate that, Bobby. Mm hmm. Absolutely. All right. Albert, I have to head off. I have a call to move some furniture. No, it's thank you for everything so far, Mr. Flood. It's been a pleasure. Of course. And uh, let me know we can get you trained up on the firearms and such. Bobby here, excellent train conductor. He can teach you everything you need to know about trains. 
Absolutely. Make sure to leave them some feedback, all right? Sure will. All right. Yeah. You can take good. care. You too. All right. Have a wonderful evening. Right. I'll probably see you along the route somewhere. We'll keep an so eye out. We're just doing the usual. All right. All right. Check to see if Silas uh, got back to me. Alfred or Alberts. Alberts. Uh, Albert. Uh, yes. Sorry. Uh, okay, so the train's all ready to go, but I'll run you through what you do when you first take a train out of a depot, just so you know. Um, so once you've gotten the train out of the depot and you're here at uh, the station, Wallace Station is one of the uh, three depots we have here in the state where we can uh, take trains in and out. Mm -hmm. uh, the things that you need to do, first and foremost, are making sure that we have a bulletin board that you will see once you become a, a full officer where we post when we're working so that everyone knows that I have a train out right now. Um, you would post that in the bulletin board and then you would send telegrams to both the transit tip line and the law tip line just informing both departments that uh, there's a train beginning with your route and your name mm -hmm. and uh, we will then check our switches which the switches determine you know when the train splits either going left or right it determines whether you're taking the left or right rail so you always need to double check your uh, switches and you can send in advance you know the switches which direction you want to go so once your route is plotted with the switches you would get a coal bag from our office and every station i'll show you what they look like every station has coal storage in these bins here ah oh, yes every station has them and uh one lump of coal will power the train for a minute so uh you grab a coal bag out of our office throw as much coal as you think you'll need in the bag uh, i usually start with uh about an hour's worth and uh, every time you need to fill up you'll need to go into whatever office you're at grab another bag fill it up with coal chuck it in the coal car that's how they move uh-huh yes all right that's sort of the uh checklist for getting you know getting your train going for the day and uh once we start getting closer to valentine i will show you what we do all right but for now we're off So I saw you were a uh, wagoneer in London. Yes, yes, just doing the odd jobs yes. around in London, but never got a it's chance to actually time. drive the trains or anything. I see, I see. It's got to be a lot different out here. Yes, no, I'm, 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 I'm learning so much. It's, there, yeah, some things are similar, but it's a lot is very different. Certainly. Okay. So, important thing, uh, in case we are stopped by any uh, near do uh for all intents and purposes, you are just a passenger, so uh, right. you know, you'll be following the rules of passengers. Um, if we have passengers and we feel like we are being pursued or we're being stopped or boarded or what have you, uh, we will go into a lockdown in which uh, all passengers need to get inside the frontmost covered car, which in our case would be the passenger car behind us. Yes on this train. This is Little Olive. <laughs> and uh, then I would be negotiating. Since I'm a conductor, I'm unarmed. Uh, if any more officers join us, they can be armed with security. Um, so um, if we don't have security, which this time we will, because I believe uh, Officer O'Kelly is going to be at us in Valentine, our first stop to be security for us. Wonderful. Um, if we don't have security, you know, I would negotiate to the best of my ability. Our number one priority is keeping our passengers safe. Um, it is a firm rule that uh, the conductor, who, which in this case is me, cannot be taken off the train, so you'll have to be very firm on that. If for some reason people, you know, the outlaws insist on taking you for whatever reason, you have to be very firm, you can't leave the train. Uh, you know, it is a, uh, it is a mandate. And, uh, our number one concern in negotiation is keeping passengers safe. Making sure no one gets hurt, including the, uh, you know, the, the bad guys. You know, we don't want anyone getting shot, regardless oh, yes. of, you know. Uh, if we have security, uh, in which case it will be Officer O'Kelly, once we get to Valentine, uh, they will be leading the negotiations. And uh, I would move up to the engine with the engineer where I'm safe uh, while he conducts negotiations. Uh-huh, yes. And, uh, yeah. So it's, uh, you know, it can get ugly, and if it gets ugly, that's where security comes in. 
but hopefully it won't. Well, I'll take the opportunity, no matter what happens, to learn as much as possible while remaining safe. Yeah, definitely. And if shooting does start, if, uh, you know, there were to be a shootout between, you know, Officer O'Kelly and any near duels, if we are stopped and you have the opportunity to, I would flee on foot and get to the nearest telegram, send a tip of where exactly the train is stopped, what is happening, so that officers can respond. And hey, what, uh, what line am I sending that to? Uh, the law tip line. Right. Informing them that the... Uh, Transit security is uh, engaged in a shootout with uh, bandits and, at whatever location. And is that just law? Yep, yep, the uh, law tip line is just the word law. And the transit tip line is just the word transit. Yes, I didn't realize that straight away. I thought it would be, mm -hmm. I thought it would be more complicated. Oh no, yeah, it's very simple. So, is that so the speed we're at right now is a cruise. Sometimes I like to go fast, just because this is a bit, you know, you can speed up if you'd like, but this is a cruise. When we're getting close to town, you'll want to slow down to slow, just in case there's, you know, folks walking about. Uh, you never want to go faster than fast. I'll show you what fast looks like right now. Speed up. Go ahead, Carl. This is fast. Oh, he is, he is. You never want to go faster than fast unless there is a uh, emergency and a uh, senior officer or above approves it. Uh, if, you know, we've just gotten out of a gunfight and someone's injured and we can get to the next town, sure, we'll go faster than this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But typically, you don't want to. So once we get a little closer to town, I will have... I will show you the sort of uh, call-outs that we make to folks to inform them of uh, who we are and what we're doing, and I'll have you do that. And then uh, I will also have you take the names of all of our passengers, because that is something that uh, it, I don't I actually think is required anymore, because we don't charge for tickets either anymore. Uh, that's a new thing. Um, it is free to ride the trains here, because we get a government paycheck. And... Uh, so, yeah, I'll have your job be making the call-outs and uh, taking out one's name so they get on. So, for passengers, the rules are they can't be in the coal car or the engine, obviously. Uh, they also can't be in the caboose. Everywhere else is fair game, out here on the flatbeds, in the passenger car, wherever they like to stand. Um, bows and long arms have been stowed away, as long as you can't see them on their backs, that's fine. And, uh, you know, no roughhousing, you know, all common sense stuff over there. Yes, keep your hands to yourselves. Yep. And also, uh, typically, you ask passengers not to pass these lantern hooks that we're standing next to. Oh, yeah. Because this is sort of my space for talking to the engineer. I see. It's right about here, this where, where Carl can hear me best. So I called the switches in advance. We should be going left here towards Valentine. Looks like we are. So when we get to Valentine's stop, the call out that you make, and you can put your own spin on it, you know, but the basics you need to get across. You announce Saints Cross and Transit Authority, you announce the town you're in, you announce where you're going, and you announce how folks can hop over. So what I usually say is Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Welcome to Valentine. Our next stop will be San Denis. They hop aboard. Please come see me outside. And I shout that out as loud as I can so folks nearby know that the train is here. Uh, yeah, it sounds. Makes sense. Yep. So I'll help you do that. Officer O'Kelly should be at the station to be security for us, and he could probably tell you uh, sort of more about what he would do if you were working security on a train. Good, good. <coughs> yeah, it'll be good. We're about both things. <sighs> I wish I wasn't so tired. So what made you move out 
right here is very different from London. Well, as they with the underground and everything being developed over there, there's not really much room for me to grow. You know, there's a uh, too many too many people and not enough opportunities. So I thought, you know, why not yep. start a new over here where it's That's sort of good. more in development. Yeah, we're always in need of uh, conductors and wagoneers and boat captains. We're always in need. Hmm. I just learned how to do that. Right? Sometimes a change of scenery can be a good thing. Absolutely. as we get closer to town. Once we around this corner, I'll bring us to a slow. Yes, kind of, there's not really like a specific spot you have to start slowing down. You just use common sense, you know, where you think folks might be crossing. Or, you know. It's like right about here, right before we get to the first road crossing, and bring us down to slow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Once we're at a stop, I'll have you do the call out. So you remember everything you need to say. Ah, uh, yes, uh, who we are, where we've yep. arrived, where we're going, yep. mm -hmm. and how to do it. Which will be coming to you. And, uh. Right, go for it. Now, how do I do that? You just shout out. Saints Crossing Transit Authority, welcome to Valentine. Our next stop is Saint Denis. If you'd like to come aboard, please come see me. Oh, I shout it! Oh, yes, right. Shout and out. uh, shout uh, out uh where are we? We're going to Saint Denis. Yes, yeah, Saint Denis is our next. Saint Denis. Stop. Yes, thank you. I want to get colored. Good once. day, Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Welcomes you to the lovely town of Valentine. Stopping at Saint Denis Station next. To board the train, please come and see uh, Albert Groves, the gentleman with the pipe at the, at the station. Great job. Fantastic. Fantastic job. So just make sure you Very take down answer. everyone's uh, names and, you know, a notebook or a piece of paper or whatever. Uh, just oh. so you remember. Oh, yes. Or you can just remember them. You know, if you have a good memory. All right. Who was first? Good day, sir. Tickets. Yeah, so what, what, my name is Albert Groves. What might your name be? Levi. Levi. That's with an I? Yes. And what would be your uh, surname? I don't really have one. Oh. Just Levi is fine. Just Levi is fine? That's all. Yeah, you don't need you don't need to push too hard on that. It's fine. If folks don't want to disclose their surnames. Oh, very good then. All right then. I've, I've jotted that down. I'll grab yourself a, a, a smashing seat, Mr. Levi. Thank you. And next, please. Good day, sir. Albert Groves at your service. What what your what your name be? Uh, Robert Mick Weedy. Mick Weedy, as in the plant. McQueedy. And you can push a little bit when you know that people are giving you fake names. Mick, 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 Weedy. It's, it's, uh, Scottish. <laughs> Could you spell that for me? M C W W W H E A T Y. It's a lot of W. If I've got, if I've got that correct, <laughs> that's M C. W W H A E T E Y. Yeah, McWeezy. There you you forgot the yeah you forgot the three W's. It's McWeezy. So there's three W's in succession. Uh huh. All right then. Well, Mr. McWeezy, welcome before. aboard. Not, uh, 
God. He was just uh, in the bar like, talking to me for like an hour yesterday. I know who this uh, is, and it's not a me. hat like that. What? I could, I could I could never forget it, Flood. It's not McQueasy. I mean, I don't no, know. he just gave you a fake thing, but you wouldn't know unless we were here. It was a test. What? What? Are you, are you gonna do any more magic tricks on no, this train? No, 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 I I've given up the magic tricks. What? You a magician or something? Kind he of. did a good disappearing act in Saint Denis. I'll give him that. Is he a m okay. magician? Wouldn't it be? Oh, cool we'll get it three M's. <laughs> Is, uh, what, what, Listen, Flood, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. All right. What's I mean, your real Bobby, name? Bobby Bobby start moving. I mean, can tell Albert a little bit about working security. I'm the Kookamonga kid. I, he, the what? I'm like leading. I'm, le I'm like leading like a revolution right now. I don't got time. Yeah, this is the I'm, Kukamonga. I didn't revolution. ask for your life story. I asked for your real name. The Kookamonga Kid. <laughs> that works. Because everyone the, knows the, yeah, just the put Kukamonga, Kukamonga on there. Is the... What, what is, Bobby, it, the, is there the any Kuka what? issue letting him on? The Kookamonga? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. No, he, us his word. He, was, he was very pleasant in the saloon last night, so I will let him. So okay. Conductor said, How okay. long until departure? Uh, it should be just C U C A. Would you mind? M O C K U K A. Yeah, Kukamonga. Kid. Right, thank you. Right. Okay, Albert. So after a few minutes, you know, once the initial group is on board who want to board, uh, you can make another call. Uh, you know, it's basically the same call, just in case there are other folks around now. Right. Uh, and then, uh, I, I told once you, you want to make your last man, call, you would can. add final call onto the end so that folks right. know. And once we're ready to go, we'll, we'll cry all did. aboard and the train will start moving. No, no tricks. So this one's so like a warning to... that we're about to leave. This For is a, kids. you know, this is the second shout. And then on the third shout, we'll, uh, say final call. And then after a moment or two, after the final call, we'll cry all aboard once everyone's on and we'll go. This is the Saints Crossing Transit Authority, departing Valentine Station momentarily. For any late departures, please see Mr. Albert Groves at the station as soon as possible. Thank you. Yep, we're going to wait for this uh, gentleman who I think is checking his telegrams who wanted to hop on, and then uh, we'll make our final call, give it a few seconds, and then we'll do our all aboard once he's on. All right, sounds good to me. You know, Mr. Reverend, I'm surprised Miss Lucia hasn't run her way down here by now. Oh, yeah, me too. I, I think her and Cade were long to get on, but maybe they're having a conversation or something. Alright, we can make our final call. You can either just say final call, or you can do the whole thing and final call. Final call! Saints Crossing Transit Authority departing Valentine Station to say to me now. Give it a few moments. If no one runs up wanting to get on last minute, then we'll shout all aboard. All aboard! Come on, say it with your chest, say it with your chest. All aboard! All aboard! There we <laughs> go. There we go. I'm sorry, I should have had the... I should have the pipe before. Let's get the, the pipe in the <laughs> oh, Alright, I'll keep that. Remember that for next time. Storm, old boy. You're all good. You're all good. No arms. <laughs> On our way to San Denis, if you'd like to talk to uh, Officer O'Kelly about security a little bit more. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> the guy was scared. Just Levi is fine. They go. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's Officer Kelly down there, isn't it? Yes. Oh, he is? All the way down yeah, here. Uh, Hello! Uh, Mr. Groves, was he? Uh, Groves, yes! Groves? Uh, Groves, yes! Oh, 
course it grows. It's the Hartmans. Hey, no, no, Albert grows. Oh. G R O V E S. O'Kelly, Ken O'Kelly. Ken O'Kelly. Thanks, Roy. Got it. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. You've been hard at work today. Very much, sir. Been, been further south, out west, I've ever been in my life. Well, it must have been on board the adventure. It was. We are lucky we didn't get uh, robbed in, uh, I think it's Armadillo or anything. Because I was. But learning, learning a lot, and it's wonderful now to be aboard a train. But yeah, they said you could tell me a thing or two about the usual security. Yeah, I mean, um, what have you been told about, uh, well, general uh, passenger practice on the train? Well, I know I have to uh, keep a record, as uh, and currently, as uh, yeah, everyone's names that are on board the train, just so we can keep a track of everyone, and then, um, and then just being mindful of security, you know, as there is security present, they have a bit more of a precedence with uh, taking charge in case of emergency with to deal with the uh, ruffians. Right, well, um, if you're just learning to become a conductor, some things you should know is there's a no long arm policy. Oh, yes. If someone boards with a long arm, they need to either put it away or have us put it in storage. Uh-huh. Uh, when you're wearing the conductor cap, you are not to arm yourselves. Should any situation show up, security will take care of it. Understood. Uh, aside from that, when on the train, we're basically looking after the well-being of the passengers. And uh, you know, if you just if you've got the if you've got some security around, or you are security, uh, just doing patrols up and down the train, making sure there's no stowaways. Oh, oh yes. Some sneaky buggers might have be hiding away. Mm -hmm. If you encounter a stowaway, um, try to see if they can pay first. Uh, if not, politely ask them to leave. Now that's different on a high-value transport. If we are in a high-value transport, uh, there are absolutely no civilians allowed on at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you issue them a warning, and if they step on the train, you pull out your weapon. Is there, is there a, an amount of verbal warnings you give? Uh, for HVT, yeah, just a single warning. Uh, I mean, you can try and give them as many warnings as you like, but um, you're able to pull your gun out after one. Well, that's fair. And then, um, would we wait for the next stop for them to, to disembark, or would, would this be a, a gentle pace for them to hop off? Um, in a regular passenger train, and in this case it's a stowaway. Ah, next stop. We're not in the habit of chucking people off trains. Ah, uh, yes, that's what, yeah, I figured as much. So from that, uh, the caboose, absolutely no one except staff is allowed in the caboose. Uh-huh. If someone refuses to stay out of the caboose, uh, well, apply the same principle as you would to a stowaway. Right, yes. Get him out of there. No caboose. Quite exactly. Get him out of there. <laughs> Are you looking to do much security, Mr. Groves? Oh, look, I'll, I'll happily... I'll happily give security a go. It's just my, my main dream since being a child is, is to, uh, you know, drive trains one day. So that's the... That's the preference, but I'll happily do whatever's required. Don't we all? While working in transit is a childhood dream come true. It's very exciting. This is actually the first train I've seen since arriving in this country. So this is a very special day. Oh, I certainly is, Mr. Gross. And then soon enough, you'll be running in yourself. Ah, oh, I look forward to that day. Are you uh, looking forward to conducting or engineering? Well, I don't. I don't really know if I have a preference yet. Personally, I'm uh, much more there for engineering, but um, 
I mean, if you've not got that extra staff member present, sure they have to be conducted. Yes. Well, I suppose some people uh, very early on when I arrived here, they recommended I try out for some uh, open auditions at the theatre. So maybe with uh, that sort of vocal presence, maybe it's the con is it the conductor that makes the call outs? Uh, most certainly, what you were doing early days is exactly what the conductor is. They uh, take names, they alert people when we're arriving, parting. That might be the nat first natural choice, I guess. Yeah, uh, don't blame you. Um, any other things you uh, feel like you want answered? Uh, nothing really comes to mind. It's really just absorbing it, mulling it over, and I uh, guess uh, just taking in first-hand experience. Of course. Um, also, another thing. If you've got a passenger car like this, and we are held up by a bunch of robbers, and you've got the security, what you want to do is you want to have all the civilians and passengers inside the passenger car with security of the uh, front and back exits. Mm-hmm. Essentially, just want to... Um, and then all the conductor or lead security will handle negotiations. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. You know, put them, you know, put them in a, a, a safe spot with some cover. And you know, you know the entr entrances and exits. Exactly. If the unfortunate situation happens, you don't want innocent people getting in danger. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, this here is clear. We'll so head up to the front of that train, eh? Sounds good. <laughs> Frozen goods across the country. <laughs> this guy's concerned me. Yeah, I just leave eyes fine. Feel like he's sussing it out for the other things we will show uh done to the security for trains as medics and Saints Daily as well. And um, we'll just start the trains for them. Shelby is you is you uh, heavy traveling to Ripton. Doing well? You can't type in a way. I uh, noticed you've got a second name now. Uh, yeah, I do. I, uh, I got married a few weeks ago and uh, we are using both last names. Congratulations. Thank you. I think I did hear something about that. Now I recall. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, now Alfred and I are uh, cramped in love. It's a bit of a mouthful, but, uh... Yeah, it's a bit of a bullshit That's true. You know, I, I tried to... I tried to, uh, push for combining them with the lamp to do it down. Yes, I suppose bullshit isn't a good alternative yeah, either. Yeah, bullshit also not very good. train is very loud. I can't hear shit! Yeah, I keep getting granted if I get these fans in the 80s because they see it now for speaker <laughs>
definitely not smart on the field. Solving a murder mystery. Well, let's hope you actually implement those detective skills on that. Uh, Find an outlet for being good. Yeah, going out for an eye. Jump off the train. Uh, you, can you? you want to jump off the train? Can you? Can you slow up near the? Uh, uh, awning? Uh, all right, we're coming up on. It. All right, there you go. You you got you know how to you know how to get off the train. Why are you getting off the train this way when we're just gonna go several yards forward and stop in the normal spot? Uh, was that it? Was that his first go at that? The second. He got. He got lucky the first time. <laughs> Why did you want to get off there? No. What's his name that again? Was the, la the last time. Kukamonga kid. The last. <laughs> the deputies caught up with me. Jumped off the train onto that awning and escaped into the. City. Yeah, I remember that. I was there. He was. I was there when he was doing all the magic. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were there for the magic yeah. tricks. <laughs> so was Clara and Alfred. You know, all of us were there. And of course, Clara being Clara was 100% believing he was a magician until the very end. Was he the kid? More, you know, credit for his magical tricks. It was pretty good. Keep saying. You know, you know, people of the performing arts in the crossing don't really get a. They don't get a fair shake, in my opinion. Oh man, I feel like he's been a pretty good trick record at the performing arts lately. We have plenty of. Reading some newspaper about him. Mm hmm. What sort of magic tricks he do? Uh, it was like a rope that kept like, like an endless rope trick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then he did, uh, you know, put a dime inside of a box and then it turns into two dimes. And... Yeah, pretty great, great honestly. Like... All out. We're going to Rhodes next. Oh, I'm. I might have to actually call it there. Oh, that's okay. Well, then I'll make the call out. As I've grown quite weary, unfortunately. I I, I could fall asleep right. at any moment, I'm afraid. Yeah, we'll get your wrist. I'm going to do the call out then. Sands Crossing Transit Authority, welcome to San Denis. Our next stop will be Rhodes. If you'd like to hop aboard, please come see me in the stripy hat. I will be right by the train. And times like this, see, where it's very obvious that no one's getting on the train, you don't have to stay long. I see. Well, I... Bobby, Mr. Flood, Mr. O'Kelly, thank you very much for everything you've shown me today. Yeah, of course. You're going to hop off here or uh, Rhodes? Uh, yes, I'll, I'll pop off here and I'll go grab the old hotel room again. Just to get right. some, just to uh, look at getting some rest. It's just, yeah, I'm quite... Become quite fatigued, but uh, I'll be around again uh, tomorrow for All right, to hopefully do some more training if anyone's around. Yeah, yeah I'll be around in the evening uh, and then Sunday. Uh, pleasure to uh, make your acquaintance, Albert. Lo good to meet you. Lovely to meet you all. Hope the rest of the, uh, the ride goes all right, and I'll hopefully see you all uh, tomorrow, if not sooner rather than later. Absolutely. All right. Uh, <laughs> hmm? Tell you what, I'm going to check the tip line real quick to see if Silas has reached out. Oh, yes. And rest assured, I'm not going to jump off. I'm just going to step down. <laughs> Cheerio, right. gentlemen. Take care. Oh, oh, oh. All right. We're learning a lot. <laughs> Where did he go to here, anyway? <laughs> What a funny bugger.
But no, I'd love to I'd love to keep going, but but yeah, because I got up at like 5 a.m. today to work six to nine. I am just I'm I'm getting to that point in the afternoon where I'm like, oh like I'm I'm running I'm running out of steam and I feel like I'm just not gonna be very engaging. Uh, but that's good. We done. We did the. We did the interview. We got to experience a wagon route with Mr. Flood. We got to experience the stuff they do at the train with Bobby there. Uh, got to see, you know, what it's like having security there with Mr. O'Kelly. Um, dealing with some passengers. We uh, had some funny chats with people in Valentine at the start. So it's a very, you know, a short. Uh, you know, you know, in in some ways a shorter session than usual. But it was very um, productive. Very cool. I'm very excited to um, very excited to learn more and continue the training. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Um, I think I'm gonna maybe have a bit of a mid-afternoon nap, um, which should be fine because you have done this. I've, Work today was fine. I got a load of washing out. I'm waiting for that to dry anyway. Um, and then I don't know if I'll stream tonight. I might just play some stuff with ho hopefully some friends are free to play something. Um, but then, yeah, tomorrow I'll definitely try and um, stream more of this from uh, from 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time at the earliest to do to put in another good session there. So that is definitely the plan there. Um, we'll just get to a nice spot. Oh, very cool. Very excited to do more. Is that a player? Not entirely sure. I hope it's alright that I just come into rooms like this just to to log off. 